Okay, so we're beginning, uh, starting up the recording. Let's get started tonight. We've got um, some crazy action happening. We've got uh, players in a tight spot. We've got Feralai Stormsworn rising up onto the cliffside to um, attack with her tentacled guardians. Um, so there's all kind of stuff happening. Welcome, Zith. Is she there? Hello. Hello. You made, made it. <clears throat> da, da, oh, da, man. Da. Just a crazy day, guys. You know. <clears throat> you know what that's like. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just nuts. Just nuts. But all we're good. Happy, happy to be here. Happy to be playing. I'm, uh, I'm whiteless for the for the for the for the week. Um, oh, I've been oh, you're going to get in trouble. Playing double duty. Wife playing double list. duty. Oh, not li- oh. not lifeless. <laughs> how, how old are your kids? She is. I have one, and she's 17, and she's in the other room studying. Okay. Um, I was too cheap to buy her a car, so. Uh, we were sharing a car and I just had to go get my dog at the vet and blah, blah, you know, long story. I could bore you guys yeah. for years. Indeed, you could. <laughs> Don't make me. And confirm. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so here we are. We are at uh, round 10 of this fight. This horrible... Um, well, you guys are you guys have made a huge dent in all of the the critters that you've been up against. You've beaten back, pretty much blown off all the zombies that were hammered to the side of the cliff uh, and the rocks. You have taken out several of the anchorites, those half orc. I I'm, I'm not really sure why they're all half orcs yet, which is why Feralai isn't the half orc. Um, because she Very just racist. has to be, she has to be different. Yeah. Like what? All half works are bad guys. Really? Come on. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. serious, but anyway, no, just literally r- racial profiling, even if it is true, um, you shouldn't make it sound like that's what you think. So, uh, has, has the fire to the mass done any real damage? Cause I'm looking to topple that thing and maybe take some people out w- with it and of course uh, no, get the eye it's it's because you just used uh, um, scorching scorching ray right yeah and i think two or three of them hit yeah yeah so it's it's uh unfortunately it's not dry wood so it it it's it catches yeah. on fire but it's just not a good strong fire and it's kind of Plus yeah. the rain, you're you've got some rain going on right now. It doesn't help it any. So, yeah. yep, yep. All right. So now, here we are. Are you going to play Radiance part? I I am. Okay. As we as he exits stage left, he will be exiting. Couldn't oh, he just be like a meat shield? <laughs> a meat shield. <laughs> just asking for a friend. I asked yeah. him. Yeah, I, I um I I suspect martyrdom is in his near future. Uh, this is what, you know, or you could just play chat G you could use chat GBT and see what he would do. So. The prompt is what's, what's the most glorious <laughs> way to end my life during this battle? And, and I do, another traumatic moment for Kineas. I do expect a bot like that to, to pop up somewhere. Okay, so I don't know what happened probably during the module updates or restarting the server, some such. Some of your um, little circle things have, um, like your spirit guardians are gone. And we were counting on that. So you may wanna just cast that again without using a spell slot. Um, so that your spirit guardians are there, because that's been one of the ways you've been beating the crap out of these guys. Where, where, is, where did we leave him last? I think you was, are right here. 
But where was my spirit guardian? Oh, around you. Oh, okay. So let me. Um... It, it hey, makes that radius anybody... of stuff. I... What now? Can everybody check their hit points and see what they're at? Um, uh, it just reset. Yeah, yeah, I have full hit points. I don't know if Ezra healed me because I, I wasn't did. that far yeah, down. I, oh I, yeah, I healed, and I didn't have. I, I wasn't I healed down that pretty night. much everyone in in the uh, area. Yeah, juice box. I, I love. I love you, juice box. If it helps, I'm back at twenty four hit points. Wait, you're wait, you're what? He's at twenty four. I'm back at twenty four. Yeah. Oh, twenty. Okay, so I guess it, it is right. Okay. So the good news is the anchorites still are wounded, and so for now, I um, hold on a second. I'm going to turn on the music, but I don't want it to be too loud and drown out people talking in uh, in the recording. So hold on here while I turn on this music, and then it's the weird. It's sound level. It's, it still doesn't show up on. Um... On my D D A E, you think it would? It's uh, flying around on on the screen. Yeah, I I connected it to myself, but it doesn't sh like. There's no way for me to cancel it. Come here. Where did she go? I'm sorry, I got a screaming twenty year old cat who just wants her way. Okay. I hope you got a prenup. What? Oh my God, she has so much. We she has so much energy. We just figured out tonight she's twenty something. Which cat? That's Timber. Oh, Timber. Yeah. Yeah. She beats everyone up. She torments Jet. Jet's like hiding behind me. Oh, right Jet. That's my little buddy. I know. <laughs> He's... So quite okay. Different. Interesting. Can I move him? Can I move Ozis without? That's got to be my turn. Okay. I'm curious to see if that follows me. There it is. We'll find out. Companions? Nope, that wouldn't do it. Token? Oh, no, don't do that. Okay. Uh, right. Music is not too loud for now. I could have some wireless. I've been having trouble with the music overpowering the rest of the audio. And then you're like, can't hear anyone talk because the music got freaking loud. So just making sure that the levels are okay because. I can be taught. All right. Um, so you've got your spirit guardian. This guy's going to take uh, some damage right up front. Can you go ahead and uh, roll your stupid damage dice? Yeah, you. We're talking to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I had to add, add convenient. Okay, that's what it, I had to do. Oh, gotcha. There we go. Hmm. How's our girl looking, Jim? Uh, she's doing great, thank you. It's kind of you to ask. Okay. You know, she she wasn't bloodied yet, I recalled. Which seems incredible considering just how much I've been fighting her. I know. <clears throat> I mean, I honestly think decent strategies because she's not on the boat, but still. All right. So, was that the war priest that you just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got um, a radius effect as well. Her kraken oh. is getting kraken. Oh. So there's got a couple of guys going to take oh, some damage okay. here at the start of their turn as well. 
<laughs> of course. Unless Zith could do something, yeah. It, it's like it's watching a biological play. experiment with these little... I'm going to table talk I mean, and maybe... not table talk at the same time. The thing I am doing takes two of my rounds, unless somebody has a great spell for her. So I'm okay. going to soften her up. I'm going to soften her up, um, or try to. Um, and if anybody can make her do a saving throw, we might have some luck. Or I'll do it when we come back around to me. I don't know if I I don't know if I have anything else to see. It's okay. I I got a I got a couple I only have okay. one more trick up my sleeve. I have a sacred flame which makes you throw a deck save. No, too small. Need bigger. What is her it's name okay. again? Feral Feral Eye. Feral Eye Storm Swan. Enemy of or the clan of Torgan's family is. What was Torgan's last name again? Uh, Dragon Fallen Arches. I don't know. Something like that. It had to do with Dragon Claws or something. We'll just go for now the Dragon Claw clan. I feel it's important to remember, remember their name, considering this is why I'm fighting her. That and apparently the, the mental effects of being a, a warlock. <clears throat> okay, so does a 20 hit you, Ozis? Mm, I shouldn't. I, I'm pretty sure I'm 22. Yeah, I'm 22. Why are, why are you 22? Because you have your shield out and you're holding your shield as well? Uh, the shield I'm getting two plus where am I getting that from or is it your staff of defense that gives you does it give you I think plus it's one? The, I think it's the staff of defense because I have it in my hand okay all right so no, he misses no, this... with some claws. It scrapes along your armor. It sounds like chalk on the blackboard. And uh, and he and let's see, he ends his turn. Okay, so Zith. You're going to take some damage. Boo. Boo. Be... Boo. 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 Shitty boo. 20, 27 points of damage as these what? tentacles just... And they just kind of what whiplash What kind of roll you. is that? That was a big roll. <laughs> Why is there radiant? The, ma the max you could do is 32. Jesus Christ. It's oh, it's 3D. It's spectral. Wait, it's 3D8 plus 3D8? Oh That's right. So it's oh radiant God. and uh, necrotic damage. Is that like a sixth level spell? Are you vulnerable Jesus to Christ. any of that? No, of course not, Jim. Ah, come on. I just can't believe you're rolling 6D8. Canaeus, get out of there. Hey, that's a Kraken. Uh, Didn't I say it was a Kraken? Uh, I told it you. It looks what like sort of Spirit Gardens to me. Radiant and necrotic damage. Well, they're, it's Yeah, it Kraken's, sounds like bullshit. It's Kraken sperm, <laughs> is what it is. It's bullshit Guardians. Okay. okay. Okay, so I'm taking 27. Yes, you are. Uh, oh, I need to target myself. Boo, that hurt. Um... So, Jim, tell me how – I know it's steep, but could I get to here? Could I get up it here? It would all difficult terrain, and that would require a climbing roll. So, yeah, you could do that. A climbing roll. Mm -hmm. uh, I couldn't jump, right? I couldn't utilize my ring of jumping in some uh, way to no, avoid the climbing like, roll. So, it's 80 feet up from the water, and you are about 30 okay, feet I'm up halfway from the water. Up. Yeah, it gets steeper up near the top, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. So, yeah, you're about thirty feet up from the water, which puts you almost on par, like on par with the ship, right? Uh, on and so and so, this is downhill for me. No, it's yes. side hill. 
And would that be just difficult terrain, but no climbing? Correct. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, so I'm, I'm going to draw, that. let me just draw like, this would be like terrain markers, you know, like. Yeah. Okay. Like that. I would like to go here. So it's difficult terrain, so I can move 15 feet, and then that's it. Uh, um, okay. I'm not, oh, that did not move me. Sorry, guys. All right, I'm going to move there, because I did not like that. I'm going to turn to her, and I am going to, like, purse up my little, squinch up my eyes and my, and my nose and really, like, throw something out at her that I don't really throw that often. And let's see if it sticks. Uh, it's a, what, is it like a booger? What are you throwing? It's, it's a mind booger. Oh, okay. And you're just going to flick it. Mind booger. Way. It's the, it's the cantrip mind booger. We are all children in, in the end. That's what we are. <laughs> I think you probably get prompted for a saving throw. Um, I hope you're dumb. I, I, I found I, out you the have hard to way do that damage. she's wise. If you, if you roll uh -oh. damage, okay. then it will prompt me Got for it. a save. Sorry. Um, there we go. Yeah, so an intelligence save. I hope you're dumb. I know you're wise. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> brutal. So she uh, does take um, half all damage. All three. Boo. Yeah. So he takes, it wasn't takes really. Three. The damage was not thing. the thing, unfortunately. Um, OK, so I have some bonus movement I could do. Is there anywhere here I could, hi I could hide? Like, what am I around? If you like, run, like I shove my you tiny can self run in a out, crack. You can run out of sight around the other side. So if you keep going, run. then that would put you around the, the curve. So if you can like see me here. in the camera, you can see me in the camera. Oh, this is like I don't have the camera on. Oh. Hold on one second. Uh okay, yeah, I see see in the camera what? So here, I'm gonna get some terrain. This is my terrain. It's a pillow. <laughs> okay. And so you can run around the other side of the terrain. You're like running along yeah. this cliff. Right? So, so, so would you... getting here get me out of sight from her at least? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So, so at I'll that point, that. you can hide because you're now broken sight with her. If you want to use, yeah, your you want a stealth check. Yeah, you can do uh, a stealth uh, stealth roll now. Doesn't the the guys oh. on the ship can still see you? Everybody else over there, yeah, can yeah, still see you, that's fine. But yeah. Not her. That'll do. You're trying to hide. You're like leaning up behind. You know, there's some rocks in here and there. And yeah, out. like kind of like some cre like, like some yeah. jetted out rock. And I'm pretty right. small, so I would like tuck in there, um, try and get advantage of my next shot on that. Mm -hmm. I really hate I, her. Uh, that's it. I knew you'd like this. That's why I, I had her follow you up there. Really hate her. All right. I thought I can get. I'm two, squishy, Jim. Leave me two, alone. Two Focus guys on the big with guys. One stone. All right, so I believe it's Ozis. No, it's the anchorite oh. that's uh, just outside of range here. So he is going to. Um, what is he going to do? He's going to. Oh yeah. All right. So Ozis, this this guy uh, with a lack of anything else better to do, begins turning. Well, actually, the arbalest is already aimed towards you. So he's, he's gonna, cranking it back. It's, oh, he's, he's cranking back at. Okay. He's aiming a siege weapon at you. Um, that's not good. Point blank range. Uh, so wait, hang on a second. If he's doing that, uh, can I do my he warning flare? You can't fire it yet. I'm just making a soft move, letting you know that he's <laughs> gonna pose, he's gonna pose a threat to you. He's aiming, he's cranking it, he's lining it up. Oh, he's cranking it back. He's getting you in the crosshairs. And um, it's, you know, he's kind of even aiming down a little bit towards you. So he's- If I jumped got, off- He has ill intent. Yeah, if you jumped okay. off the boat, you you wouldn't be in arm's way anymore. But I have two attacks of the opportunity attacks. Yes, that is correct. See how I set you up like that? Okay, Ezra, down below, 
you see these the little uh, flaming sprites flying mm -hmm. around, right? These are like little yeah, like fire elemental spirits, something like that, because you're because of Kasuth. No, I'm Kasuth. So you're that's what I'm saying. The spirit guardians are flying all around because and How they look it? like okay. your spirit guardians look like fire elementals or something, right? Right. Like little salamanders or elementals, that sort of thing. Okay. Okay. Why is it not letting me move? Or do you I, have the right tool one? selected? That's a Make great sure. question. Up at the top, you should have the little meeple guy at the very top selected on the left. And now you can. I... Can I? Well, no, you're I holding just... your left mouse button down too long. And so it's doing a ping instead. See that ping? No, I just, I just clicked it like the once <clears throat> just to try and uh, move my guy. And it's just not. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll move you right now so you can get going. Why okay. don't you ping, I'm just trying to see how, how close I am. I just want to see how close I am to Canaeus right now. Oh, okay. So that is the measuring tool. We can do that. Uh, that's the second row of tools, the third one down. So this says 35. Okay. So I want to be 30 feet from him. So I guess just right. Okay, so yeah, you're going to move. Yeah. Right about there. Yeah, and then I am going to use my um, channel divinity preserve life. So that when he dies, he's not really, really dead. Oh, no. No, this one heals. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what did this do? So it, it just says as an action, you can restore, uh, it just says zero hit points. I don't know why, but I can choose any creatures within 30 feet and divide them. So I don't um, know why it just says zero. I, I think, so you preserve life, I thought, means that when they drop to zero, they end up um, at one, at one again. I think preserve life, that's your channel divinity, right? Correct. Yeah, I think it, it allows you, it should tell you how much you, you can heal, but I think the deal is you can only give it to people who are less than half of their total hit points. I could be wrong, but I think that's how that works. It should be in the description, right? Um, hold on. Preserve life. That'd be life domain. Uh, 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 40 hit uh, points. It's 40 hit points. Oh, see, I think but, you did that but, last week, didn't you? Yeah, I did. But for some reason, it doesn't show up in um, Boundary. Oh. It just, it's okay. in my uh, sheet. So um, that, that makes some sense. Yeah. So, Gnaeus, you'll get uh, 30 hit points, and um, Zip, you'll get 10. Thank you. What about if yourself? You have, if you have to. What about <laughs> myself? I don't remember. Are you good? Yeah, I have I have sixty hit points. I'm good. How's our how's our uh, our chef doing? That's who no, you're doing. He's fine. Okay. Uh, Ozis. Yeah. I'm fine. For you right uh, doing okay? Yeah. Okay. Good. Great. I have. I'm only down ten. Thank you, Ezra. You are yeah. the juice box that keeps giving and yeah. giving. <laughs> um, wow. and then as a my bonus action, I guess I will use my uh, spiritual weapon to try and attack. Okay, um, yeah, you will. Right next to him. Um, uh, nice. Ooh. <coughs> no, no modifier there? Um, this is, this is you, just for, uh, attack, right? Yeah, but you should have a modifier. You should have like your spell casting mod, I think, or, or That's like your damage, attack mod. Not, it's not a D 20, I think it's one D eight, but yet you do need to, you do need to roll to attack though. Yeah. Well, that's what I was doing. I was rolling to attack. Yeah. So, so you should have a modifier though. So, oh, so that sorry. puts you probably around what an 18 or 20 or something like that. It totally hits. 
Go ahead, do do some damage. Okay. Uh, 1d8 plus 3. And you're you're hitting this guy right here? Is that what you're doing? Uh, yeah, right next to that, yep. <clears throat> okay. Yes, nice hit. Nice, all right, 10 damage. Okay. And uh, that will end my turn. Indeed. All right. Well, let's do this thing. We're going to do... Yep. Low damage, low damage, low damage. One, two, three, four, yeah, don't five, get, six. I mean, roll. It's a terrible roll. It's a really... Oh, oh. Oh, okay, lots of ones. That's good. So you're going to take 19. Much more manageable. You're not as squishy, so you manage to hold up to the tentacles a little bit better than that wimpy, you know elf, who. I, wimpy elf did. Hey, this is a dramatic... I'm, re, I'm having another dramatic thing with tentacles. I better not be so squishy. Yeah. This is PTSD time. So Kinesis is looking at the battlefield and he's realizing, oh shit, we're too close. So he's going to have to do it again. Well, first of all, you know, bonus action, I'm going to. How long does your giant's might last? Uh, this is the last round. 47 rounds. Okay. 47 rounds. So next, next round, I'm going to have to use my bonus action to do <clears throat> uh, to get myself back up, up to, to well, height. Yeah, Okay, indeed. so I got a grapple checker. It's the only way. Oh, I'm listening. This took a strange it's turn, to didn't it? Yeah. I love what's happening here. But just keep it PG-13, okay? We'll have to fade to black or something. <clears throat> I'm trying to... Why is the display not coming up? What are you trying to do? Get my character sheet open so I can do a strength check, a grapple check against her. So we're doing a strength on strength. I can do that. <clears throat> yes. And I have advantage right. against the giant smite for one last try. <clears throat> yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. All right. Strength on strength. Public role. And uh, so I will request, and you can roll it here. It's in the chat now. Okay. And so. Ooh, oh, crit, she crit? Oh, you did. Okay, I was I like, did. damn. Yeah, good. All right, so you grabbed her. Now what are you going to do? Is her concentration down or whatever that th that thing is? Yeah, that's, is that why, why, that's why she yeah. lost it. Nice. Okay, and I cannot move my, my character, but... So here's what I want to do. I want to take her as far away as I can from everybody else and throw her back in the water. No! I think that's where she gets her power from. Yes, that might be true, but there's also the fact that if if it gets back to her turn, she's going to be in range of everybody else. Okay. So your 30 so feet of movement will get you here, right? You can choke her out. Uh, no, I want to walk. I want to go diagonal. Okay. Or, Actually, so no. five, ten, no, I fifteen. Wanna... What do you want to do? About that. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do. What I said that I want to take her back to where we were. Back, right over here. If you can. That way, I'm. I stay closer to the healer. Okay. But she can still see Ezra and. I guess Ezra. I don't know if she can see her on the boat. 
The bow should be too high for her to see. Yeah. And I'm going to keep her grappled. Okay. I made the mistake of letting her go once. I'm not doing it again. She doesn't. Put your hand over her mouth. (laughs) Shut your mouth. The tentacles are still around her, though. I'm not sure why it did that. Oh, wait. Did I do something? Oh, concentration was removed? Yeah, on her. On check? She should. Nah, it's because it was some kind of. I don't know if it was related to the strength. Um, strength roll or something. I don't know. It, like, would she have happened. to make a con check though, just with what happened? No, no. It's when you take mm-hmm. damage. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I didn't think she would because no. all I'm doing is keeping her in place. Right. I'm screaming, someone do something. Can can't you punch her? Can you poke her now, with like your finger? And now at the end of I your turn, her. do you do you shrink down at the end of your turn? I think it's at the at the at next turn, but. Yes, I'm. Yeah, you know, I'm. I'm flickering back and forth at the moment. Like, you can see that. Like, almost like I'm. Uh, I'm a hologram. Like Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can still have her grappled, and you're still up on top of the water. It's just that you are. Uh. One, one by one. Just that you're not as big. Yes. All right. Nice so, Radian, um, he, uh, there's nothing going on down there. He's going to do his little scaling and jumping up here. And as he um, hits this guy, how many points do they have left? All right. So, he is going to whack this guy a few times. And that will, that'll, <laughs> that'll do him in. So I'm going to just go ahead and mark him as down. Uh, But then what happens is the bones, Ozis, that you are walking on that make up the deck. It's like a deck of of skeletons. Gotta grab me. The the bones around Radian reach up like two hands, like large, gigantic hands. And just go like this and pull him under the wood. Pull him right under the deck. And he disappears. What a way to go. He is down one level, maybe, maybe two. He's he's down. He got sucked, got pulled right into that uh, that dang place. All right. What's an AVIF file? Canaeus, what are you... Uh, that is that that is a a the file um, should be the picture file of what? Yeah, a little lizard with angel wings. I don't know oh. why it just came out like that. Oh yeah, those are all the spirit guardians. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right. Yeah, your spirit guardians are all of the business end of a kraken. That's what you've got. All right. Um, the radiant yeah. radiant gets pulled underneath the deck. He is now absorbed into the ship. He's he's down inside. He is. He got boned really hard. Let me just say that. So, that ends his turn. Um. She's like. Uh, Hey, big guy, do you need need some help? You hear Anaya talk in your mind. Where is I say Anaya? yes. Where is she? She's about 80 feet up in the air above the oh, okay. water. She was sitting up on where the harpies were perched before watching the action. But then Canaeus just dashed off into the water again like a madman. So she's checking well, we him out. I, I will say to her in her mind, yes, please. Okay. Do you have I any know touch? What I'm doing. It's just Do you have any touch spells? Yes. Okay. She's like, oh, I'm not flying into that big octopus. Forget about it. Oh no, never. <laughs> but yeah, I I have a plan. It's just a bad plan. 
Gotcha. All right, Ozis, what are you doing? <laughs> Ozis? I, I, I'm here. I'm just trying to okay. think exactly. Caught you in a, a fugue. Got it. So I've got all this concentration going on. Anything I do basically is going to break it, correct? If you cast another concentration spell, it will. Or if you take oh. damage. Otherwise, hmm. concentration spells will stay running as long as you're concentrating on it. So if... Okay, so if this guy here is pointing at me... He, yep, he's aiming. If... Right there is a considered a clear space, right? Mm, not really. That would be right if you rotate that around. Like that's not a separate tile, so I can't rotate it. But right. if you can imagine right. that rotating around to you, that space is not clear. This space is clear. Right here. See, I, where could you write? Right there. This so is also I... clear. That's still in the line of fire. This is a little bit off to the side. You'd have to re-aim at you if you ran over there. But... Oh, I could do right here. I could do my Guardian of Faith. Is that a concentration spell? No. Let's throw it okay. up. Hang on. Let me info. info if you're info, looking for info. just an open square is. within 30 feet, 5, 10. You could even put one right behind him. How come it's That's not? What happened to our info feet. buttons? They're there. Maybe you minimized it. Did it show up? Yeah. Doesn't tell me if it's. Uh... It oh, well, it doesn't say anything. It just says fourth level version one action thirty feet eight hours. So guardian of. Faith. Come on, Mr. Avre, you know how to do this. Um, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm. It lasts for eight hours and it does not say concentration anywhere. And it's verbal, so you just summon him. You call him for. I check, right? Did you check it already, Avre? I'm in the meta chat channel. I've tried this spell a number of times in uh, Baldur's Gate, and I cannot make it work. I don't know what is wrong with me. What do you mean? It does nothing. Really? I just it doesn't do what I think it's going to do. Like you can't move it. Um, no, you and that, put it in the I right it, spot. What, yeah, once I get it there, it's there until it, it dies. Yeah. But it it definitely gives me a. Uh... So I. I could do it right here, and that would prevent me from being shot, correct? And it would also hit whatever this thing is here. No, because that's way up in the crow's nest, No, it has, to, it has to move, I thought. So, it and it can just dish out a total of 60 damage total. And it will yeah. do 20 damage at a time. Every 20 feet, right? No, 10 feet. The 10 foot radius around your guardian. And then, so really, we'll just put a 10 foot circle on the map wherever you choose to land him. It's, I'm assuming it needs to be an unoccupied space. Yep, it says that. Which is right here, right? You can see within range, and your range is 30 feet. So you can put it right, right behind him if you want, but that's stairs that go uh, down. But it's hovering, correct? It could. It, it could hover right there. Yeah. Okay. Is it? Shield of Faith Guardian. Put it. So that should give you an option to um, place a template, I think, and then go ahead and do that. Ooh. Does nope. it? Or, or no? No. Let All me right. see what happens when I pick. No, no, no. Hang on. I there's a. Huh? It's not doing anything. Hmm. 
Yeah, it looks like it has no real automation. There's no effects or anything in the details. It just says it takes an action, 30 foot long, blah, blah, blah. Uh, magic damage, magic effect. Yeah, so it doesn't really do anything because there's no dice rolls involved in it or anything. So let's just do that. I'm going to create a template. So a radius template. You're going to put it right here. I'm going to go out 10 yeah. feet. Uh, we'll go. It should hit this. It should, it should go it should. 15 feet because he takes up five feet, right? So it's just like that. Right. Okay. And then my. I will leave it there. Okay. And then my bonus action is. This is my sword, correct? Yeah, yours is the one next to you. Right. I'm going to hit that guy. Okay. And last week it was uh, 1d8 plus 4, correct? Yeah. For you, yeah. Okie dokie. Six points of damage. He's now, getting he's getting pretty messed up. He looks pretty pretty worked over at this point. Now one of the other guys did the twenty D at the beginning of each of their turns, correct? Excuse me? The the spear not the spirit guardian. The damage the, from the spirit guardians, yeah. I've asked the you guardian when was their turn. No, Guardian Fate now. Okay, what so the spell description of that seems open to some interpretation. It says, any creature hostile to you that moves to a space within 10 feet of the Guardian for the first time on a turn must succeed on a dexterity saving throw. The creature takes 20 radiant damage on a failed save, half as much on a successful save. Oh, your little lizard with wings finally showed up. Um, now, can you shoot through the, through through that? That was the whole point of the blocking that shot. You're trying to, yeah, it says that it hovers for the duration in an occupied space of your choice. The guardian occupies that space and is indistinct, which tells me that it's like you can see through it, except for a gleaming sword and a shield emblazoned with a flaming ooh, a pillar or something, right? symbol of your deity okay so then i can jump off now and take those attacks of opportunity correct you certainly can yeah yeah they that's will they'll be happy to give them to you yeah okay well let me do that before you leave ah. before you leave i'm gonna put you back here so i can attack you target all right here we go uh, but, but, but this guy's going to shoot first. He's got claws. He gets to attack. Um, and he misses yep. Mr. Big Armor Guy. And then this guy's going to attack. And he that. also misses with a 16. <clears throat> So you may now leap off. Now that's gonna, you know, you're just jumping down. Yep, I got to do a dexterity save at least. Yeah, you're gonna need to do that. Otherwise, I'm gonna do a. F you can take half damage. But that's, that's an ability. That's ability check, correct? Not a saving throw. Uh, no. Do a dex saving throw to. That's oh, where you're gonna try to save yourself from taking damage. So I'm going to do 2d6, and you can take I half if you make it. I got a 10. Okay, that's that's good enough. All right, so you're going to you're gonna do, um, you're going to take half of this. So that's five points of damage. So take five points of damage from landing hard on this coral yeah. rock, et cetera. Got it. All right. And then I believe that will end your turn. Yes. It always gives me an error message when I end my turn. Yeah, it's trying to update something probably, and it's not writing back very well. Yeah, I just, uh, I just, barely, I had to fix something with the D and D Beyond Importer while Ezra was moving, so I saw an error 
show up on my end that was trying to update something. Um, so I, but I fixed that, but I'm not, I'm not sure. You always have the problems. All right, so this guy, is, he's, he's, he is going to take some damage. Roll your damage on this guy. What is that, a D8 plus whatever? <coughs> or the... Uh, Spirit Guardians, right? Yeah, why is it coming up? Two or up? three D8. Yeah, why is it coming up? It's three D8. I don't think he cast it at a higher level. Uh, hold on. Let me look in. I thought it was three D8 to start. Uh, three D8 yeah, at the yeah, base lit. lit yeah, at, a, at its base. Just because you're casting six level spirit guardians out of your ass, Jim. The, the rest of us have to deal with rules. They're all so written down in a book. I love it. I love it. So it's a wisdom saving throw there for you. Kill them all. Um... And can we get this zombie out too? Doesn't that zombie have to take a, some holy he will now. Yeah, he damage will now. as well? Okay. No, because he didn't move into it. Maybe when he uh, but now when he starts to turn, turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just he's already he he's gonna be move. gone. It's gonna be great. I'm sitting there like putting my short sword in like in his hair, just like gently brushing it. So it's amazing that it why isn't it this should be uh it sh it should show up on your character. The spirit guardian. I don't know. Wisdom. All right. So with a 20, I think he'll, what, take half your damage? If he made if he made the uh, save, yes. Yeah. If he didn't make the save, it's the fall. OK. Did you roll damage? Yeah, I did. I'm looking for it. I don't see it. Oh. So just do your 3d8 radiant damage or 3d8 necrotic damage. There you go, 11. Okay. Nice. All right. So that will take uh, five. Okay. All right, so he is going to um... now. If he moves, is there an uh, opportunity attack from the two swords? No, they are not capable okay. of opportunity attacks. Okay. So he is going to kind of duck, duck between him, kind of start running up the stairs a little bit, and leap over the edge to land here. I think he should make a similar dexterity saving throw. But wouldn't that be an ability check for him? Oh, no. fail. No. So Either way. he's going to land and take eight Ooh. damage. And he dies. And then he's going to do <laughs> a thunder wave. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hits, as he so hits the rocks below, whomp. All right, and so that's going to go like this. All right, so Ozus, you're going to take um, some damage here. Let's see if you can make your save. The amount of damage is going to be three whole points, so make a DC 12 con save. Oh, look at that. The flying sword is going to take some damage. And all right, you succeed. So I don't. I think you take half damage. You'll take one point of damage, and you don't get shoved back ten feet. You know, the sword. I don't know what it's gonna do. How does it make a save throw? It's fine. We'll just say that it gets buffered this way. Right. Okay. We'll just. In other words, he just kind of swatted out of the way. Right. Was his spell goes like this, and so. All right, I'm good with that. So now um, it's time for the wicked lady to go. 
Oh, joy. So, uh, I looked at the conditions, Jim. It, it doesn't say anything about spellcasting, but you would think that, like, if they're grappled, they can't make the somatic part of the spell. They can still, they can still attack, though. So, I think you can certainly move your hands if you. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, in, yeah. in intellectually, that makes n no sense, but um, and in the game, it does because it, it it doesn't say that grappled actually inflicts any disadvantage. I don't think grappled is move. the same as. I mean, there's one that's that's pretty paralyzed. Is awesome. Hold yeah. hold per hold person is great, but yeah. it is definitely yeah. not that, unfortunately. So yeah, I mean, I this believe... is more strange. This is grappled. So she says. She she whisper in his ear. Yes, God, some no. sweet nothings, and she says, "Stay with me, just stay with me always." <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it a lot. And yeah, she casts. Um, no what? He just says, "No thanks, lady. You're not my type." Ooh, a little hold monster action. Okay. All right, so. Um, you have to make a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. Okay, but would that even affect me? I mean, so, not whole yeah, 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 because she's a monster, so she gets the whole person. So I have a question, Jim. So the, so the flitting things around her do not take her concentration. They are just naturally there because she's... Because the whole monster is a concentration spell, too. Yep, okay. Mm, I'm not, not very wise. No. Okay. But so this so first old monster is too much old person. Need to... Yeah. So you, uh, she basically just reverses. It does a reversal on you, like Uno reverse, and you just, <laughs> you just, you can't move now. You got you're... Uno re reversed in D and D. That's incredible. That's <laughs> awesome. So you are still holding on to her. You just can't move. You're unable to do anything. And um, I am going to remove the tentacles. They're going to go back down into the water. Like trying to figure out yeah how to get rid of. That's them. right. That's right, Jim. Convenient. Now you're playing so by by some by some rules. A couple of different rules, rules. some rules. Just, <clears throat> once in a while, we have to do some rules. Well, so well we, I, I, I can't I'm even. still holding on to her. Yeah. And I still got my ring on. Yeah. And now she's trapped. Correct. With, you know, yeah. I mean, this is a plan. I just, it's kind of the same plan I was doing, but it's also like, that's a, even I do, this is a stupid plan. A little well, bit. I, I just, a little bit backfired. Too. A little we bit. need to we need to talk about water walk later, because if an hour hasn't gone by, you still have water walk and you. Can't oh, he has a ring. Okay, so he can't yeah, be dragged down with some water. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so I can't remove the tentacles flying around. That's fine. Oh. We'll just pretend they're not there, until I decide that they're there again. Right, right, Jay. Okay. A hundred percent. All right. So that ends her turn. We are now round, Top of the round. 11. And we will begin let's, let's with... Let's finish this shit. Roll damage. I'm going to... Die. Make a whatever save. Dex save. It's, it's 1d8 plus 4, right? Yeah, and he's going to fail that save. So just roll your damage. No, no, no. Uh, this is from your Spirit Guardians. That's 3d8. Oh. Eighteen. Yeah, he's oh. mauled with nice fiery creatures, and he dies. Oh. Nice. <coughs> oh, Ozzy. Okay, you're a death <laughs> machine. You're a death <laughs> machine, bro. 
Let's he's go. Gonna know next time that we, we get into a, a tussle, he's really going to throw it all on us. All right, Seth, what are you going to do? I got way too much going on uh, here. Uh, is it okay if I move here? Is that yeah, just it's fair? difficult terrain. That's fine. Mm -hmm. 10 feet. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to like, I, I don't know what is going on with uh, with Ozus and the and the witch. Like, uh, um, Kinaeus, yeah. It seems, uh, sorry, Kinaeus and the witch. Like, it seemed like he was in control, but now nothing is has changed visually, but he's clearly not in control. They're, they're dancing. And I'm going to slowly take an arrow out and and really try and focus in on this woman right here. It's a woman. Um, Ozus is clearly within five feet. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to move. I'm sorry. I lied. I'm not going to move. Um, I'm going to slowly take it out and really like put my tongue out and aim and take a second. I'm going to steady aim this shit on uh, this uh, wonderful lady here. Uh, Which lady are you talking about? Just, the zombie? And, and just try and, <laughs> try, and, try and just lay one down on specifically her. Um, I would get the guy in the boat. You know, Torg has a really about the cool boat. rule. Oh, there's 20, there it is. Finally. There it is. Torg has a really Wait. cool rule. I mean, let me explain it to you because I've been thinking about oh. adding it as a house rule in D&D. &D. And that is when you fire into melee with a missile weapon that you oh, have that's... to roll to hit. If the die roll is odd, then you run the risk of hitting a teammate. Yeah, that's in melee, remember? Oh, that's cool. That's right. So they're embracing right now. So if it's odd, then you you hit a random person. So we have to we like everyone that's around the person you're attacking gets a, a face on the die and we roll and see which one you actually hit. Wow. I have another rule for for you, Jen, <laughs> that will make the players happy and you not you will probably not like not like this. So here's a great crit crit rule. So when you crit, you roll your damage, right? You right? Right. You you roll the initial the one and then you double it. But instead of because your double could suck as a roll and it takes away like mine, like yep. my crit did not feel great. Yep. Um you just take the max of the of the second set of dice. So it's whatever you roll plus max of whatever the other thing is. Um yep. and that feels yep. good. Unlike yep. my roll, which only got her for nine. Um I steady aimed it, so I can't really move. I don't have a bonus action. Yeah, so it'd be uh, eight plus your die plus your four, right? And that's it'd that's be like right. max yeah, yeah. plus another die. Max plus another die plus your mod. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I I can't do anything. The name is my bonus action because I stuck my tongue out, and she's not very much more hurt. But I tried, guys. I mean, should you guys sneak attack? Yeah, oh, sorry, sneak it up. You are right. You are right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's why I took the arrow, arrow out. You get double dice sorry. on that for now. Yeah, yeah for now. Yeah, well, meaning that. I may change that rule by. I'm just session. joking. Oh, by tr like more dice. I, I may give that. you. Oh, I may okay. give you max plus your dice. So I, if I remember correctly. There we go. Know. That's better. Okay. Yeah. Drop another fourteen on honor. Thank, thank you, Canaeus. I'm on my second um, beer, and you just saved me from making a terrible mistake. <laughs> You're welcome. Anything to get this bitch to die faster. Yeah, that felt good. I've laid two crits on her and one sneak attack, and she's she barely has like a zit. <laughs> she, um, yeah, I just wait to her. She's turn deep. On. I've got uh, I've got a plan, Canaeus. You won't like it. Oh no! All right, I will. All right. So now you're going to get hit with the bolt guy. Yeah. Is, that's not I'm a sure serious is bolt, mo what bolt is monster. What 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 kind of siege weapon is that? What kind of what? Siege weapon is that? It's not a trebuchet. It's an arbalist. Arbalist. Arbalista.
All right, so your guardian takes a nice swack at him, and that's sealed with a kiss, right? And um, he knocks him over here. He's like, ugh. And uh, he actually goes... Dirty. Okay. Oh, he's gonna shit. He's gonna grab those uh, catapults. Yeah, those are like the trebuchets or whatever. Right. So. Right. All right. Um, they sell them at Hobby Lobby. Da, 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 Hobby Lobby. <laughs> <laughs> no, they do. In the model section. You think I'm kidding? I'll take a picture next time. I'm not okay, kidding. Ezra. You're down there. You got Ozis down there. You've got. You got things going on what are you up to uh let's see uh, is we're this would scream like save fucking killing kill the save. witch save Kinesis. kill the witch uh, i'm gonna do total Fuck get on the guy next to uh um yep. this. now you got your sword of faith your sword you can use That's true, but I already hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> All Maybe right, you see 14. Oops. You see 14 wisdom save. Oh, that's an 11. He's going to take oh. some damage. Oh, look, oh. we got the Philadelphia Liberty Bell. Hits him right in the head. Wow, it did 13 points of damage to him, and that was enough to kill him. So, Ozis, your ears are ringing right now. There's oh, a yes, really loud gong right in front of you. And the guy's like, ah, and he falls over, blood coming out of his ears. He's dead. They okay. need to bring that one in the movies. That'd be funny. Right? Okay, Ezra, what else? Move that sword. Um, can I just move my sword a little closer <laughs> to me? Or to now, the skull? I and... guess. Get a little closer. Yeah, um, that's that's probably fine. I don't think I really have too much I can do currently. I don't want to use any other healing right now. Uh, all right, I'm going to end my turn with that. Okay. Do I need to make another statement? Great work, Ezra. No, you don't. Um, oh, Ezra, cool. Ezra. Uh, if I could, if I could, some advice. Did you move your spirit w weapon? Sorry, I, am, I, I messed did. Up. Yeah, it's ne it's next to me now. Okay, good. Yeah, great, 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 great. Yep. Sorry, sorry. I am. Yeah, no, I want that with me. It's out of sight. It's useless. Yeah. Uh, at the end of your turn, you you can make your saving throw. Okay. So. Remind me again, what are the limitations for a whole person? You're paralyzed, dude. Monster? Oh, so she's got you? I think you're paralyzed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have her monster. and she has me. <laughs> <laughs> you do not have her at all now. It's great. <laughs> well, technically, I still do um, have him holding her. Hold monster. Uh, paral paralyzed. Brutal condition, bro. Brutal condition. Yeah. Um, you can make a save at the end of your turn. Wisdom. Which means all you can do is save. Good question. I can't talk. Can I? So, did, nope. You can't do anything. You are effectively okay. incapacitated. Your brain works. So you could talk to Anea, but that's it. Anea, help! She's, She's like, I don't, I don't want to break up anything that's going on there. I mean, <laughs> I will give her a mental like really so great. You got this, this hot mess. Making the moves on the on the tentacle lady. She has me literally trapped with magic. Help me! Oh God. <laughs> I am not Can is, mess. you I are setting up for like a you're you're like a crit sand sandwich right now. If anything attacks you that's close to you, you're effed. 
All right, so go ahead and make your um, wisdom save. Come on, buddy. I'm out of portents. Let's go. DC 15. Okay. I know, I, I, know, I know you aren't wise. Come on, buddy. I have average wisdom. Oh. Nope. <laughs> oh, man. Are you kidding oh, me? Fudge. That is beautiful, Kanan. <laughs> oh, my God. You are in rare form. Okay. Failed your save. Okay. So, Anea, seeing okay. the detriment of what she's got going on there, she's like, um, sting? I should sting? Whatever you think is best. Okay. I'm not sure. I, I have a question, wait. Jim. Why I have, have a question, Jim. Could it could Anea, like, I know that he has no control over her like a normal uh, familiar, familiar, but could she provide the help action on his next roll? I mean, she could, but... Yeah, she tries to she... get in her face and stuff like that right now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she doesn't have flyby, though. So she's no. really just yeah. like, she's she gotten down there, and... Um, oh, so... God. Okay, Kanaeus is going to be very emotional. So she gets right down in her face, and I think we can try to do a sting. Let's see. Cue the therapist. Sting. Let's see what happens. Otherwise, you might be in a lot of trouble. Sting has like a special effect, doesn't it? See if it actually works. It can paralyze. Um. Nope. Not with a six. <clears throat> okay. So, um, Ozis. Let's see how long you can delay the inevitable next move. This, this guy is still here, right? Yeah, he's just tied to the front of the boat. Oh, he has no... Oh, he's, he's tied? Well, he's like, he... yeah, he's a big skeleton that's bound to the front of the boat. He's like a giant skeleton. Can he move? He could swing a halberd, but he doesn't have one of those uh, anymore. Whose son is he? If he had one. You. i to save Kinea somehow. Oh, Ozis, make a concentration save. Yeah. So it's just a DC 10 um, constitution. DC 10 constitution. Not a fifth oh, constitution save, right? Yep, constitution save, DC 10. Easy peasy. Oh, my <laughs> I got an eight. So I forgot about that when you uh, jumped down. You took a point of damage. That would that would have interfered with your concentration. So I did that now before you take your move, so that you can decide to do something about it if you wish, or take a different action. There's no one around you right now for you to be worried about. <coughs> How far is? Sixty-five feet. Let's see if that works. Uh, the only reason I can't summon a celestial because I don't have a five hundred gold gold piece medallion with guiding bolt. Guiding bolt would not be bad. Actually, I'm well, thinking about a flame. I'm actually that. thinking about a oh, flame yeah. strike. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it. Great. I have to move here. Don't, don't hit Patrick, or hit him because it'll be fine. I have, I have Select plenty of her. HP. I, I can probably survive a fireball, at least what, one fireball. No, this so is like, a flame strike. This is like a like a fire, a condensed fireball. Yeah, hang on a second. Let me uh. 
Oh, that's the scorching rain. And, and Canaeus's voice like goes up one whole octave, like a condensed fireball. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you mean about a condensed fireball? Oh shit! I hit him. Shit! If I do that, I hit him. Jim, you weren't actually adding that roll yet, are you? That's just something you were talking about. Right there. So that's a 46 plus 46. Va 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 boom. So she's making a DC 16 deck saving throw. Fail, fail, fail. He can't use his mind thinking fail, fail, fail. Negative 91. How does that happen? I don't even know what that means. Neither do nice. I. the scene. Mm -hmm. Did you get a negative one hundred in there? Is there something wrong with the? I don't uh, know what that means. Uh, twenty-two. Okay. And that ends your turn. Um. Yeah, I mean, other than that, where's my sword? My no, sword is step. gone. It's up on the yeah. ship. Yeah. I'm going to move my sword closer to me. So did she take the 27 damage? Yes. Okay. Uh, and that'll end my turn. Does it end her? We don't know yet. She is. She's not dead. But here's what she does. <laughs> she turns it to... God, what does she do? Canaeus. Yes. Engulfed in flames, she cackles in her oh. good old fashioned Ursula style. Oh. And you, f you, you can't feel anything actually because you're just kind of paralyzed. She reaches over and grabs your hand. Oh. And Ew. she <laughs> smiles and she says, Tonight we dine in hell. And she pulls the ring off your finger and oh. tosses it to your dragon, and both of you drop underwater. Oh. You begin to drown. Oh. I think in a day it would be a little stride, but she just feels Canaeus smile, honestly, like, oh, we have the same plan. Uh, what's the distance? What's his distance? Okay. Oh, my turn's no, over, though. Nuclear explosion. I'm kidding. That's, it. that's not right. So, well, that's basically what I just did, a flame strike. Yeah. That's 4D plus 4D. Sh shit. Can you imagine what happens when I go up? I get 1D6 every time I go up a level? Damn. Okay. So, um, she so books it. Question. How, how fast? Wait, what? Yeah, playing. what's going on, Jim? Are you going they're down drew. or away? Yeah, no, she went drowning. down and away. Yeah, but so they're oh, drowning she, right now. She, they're both underwater. They went underwater, and you lose track of them. We have to go get them. We got to dive in. Who can swim? Yep. Water breathing. Well, we can all walk on I water. Thought there was it just depends. I know this was a discussion somewhere. Where is swimming? Is it acrobatics? That's athletics. And it is. if you make your athletics roll, then you can move half of your movement in a, as a swim. Okay. So, Jim, just a, a question. How fast are we are we sinking? I'm wearing full plate armor, and yeah, I'm obviously stuck with her, and she can... Yeah, what's gravity like on this planet? You're going way down. <laughs> You're going down and fast. <laughs> what's gra what's your gravity? Your ears, like your ears begin to yes. pop. Okay, so that ends her turn. Let's go back to the top. Zith, what are you gonna do? Canaeus and Ursula just went underwater. 
All right, so Jim, I have a mechanical question. Yeah. So I can move. I can use my attack action to. De oh yeah, I just answered my own question. Okay. You're welcome. So, uh, well, you do have one question, and I doubt. I doubt that you are going to deny me, but so I understand that like swimming is whatever it is in athletics check, right? Yeah. That is that is that right? Right. So, um, if I was to teleport from the from the top of the water to where Timaeus is, and I was able to go deep enough, it would not be a check, and it would not be difficult terrain, right? I would just go up there, correct, holding him. Got sure. It. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, so but you, I'm, but you have water walking still on you, right? So. Oh yeah. If you did that, you would immediately go back up to the surface very quickly. Oh, but I can't release the water walk from myself. No. It's only Ozzy that can go. Okay. I think so. Yeah. All right. So I would freak out and I would um, run after my friend. So Anaya is still flapping her wings above the water there. Yeah, so looking this is in disbelief about as far as I can... at the bubbles coming up from where they just submerged. I would go there and would I be able to, would I be able to see anything underneath me you can try so it's it's nighttime it's dark well or whatever yeah. it's late afternoon whenever you got there and um so it's and it's dim light everywhere but then underwater yeah. they're churning seas so i would yeah. say that it would give you a um, disadvantage and on a perception check right okay so uh, it won't give me the option so i'll just roll two something. yeah Okay. Oh, so that's aft. Yeah. I have disadvantage. So. All you see is yeah. the, you know, bubbling, the bubbles roiling up as Canaeus is letting out his breath. Um, I mean, just go straight down. I mean, just think about this one second quicker than this, but this does uh, deserve some thoughts. Hmm. I don't have a great option, man. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take my last bit of movement and take a dive down and go as far as I can go down to see if I can see them. Um, okay. And that you said that's athletics or dexterity. Yeah, except that with water walking. <laughs> oh, I can't. I I, I actually can't, can't go down. Right. Yeah. Nope. I can't go down. Um, okay. Uh, I have no great options, unfortunately. Can I ask? I'm very sorry. <laughs> he is trying. He is and, trying hard. Okay, so I, I'm so I'm gonna ready an action. Um, uh, that if anything but Pineas pops to the surface, um, I will pop an arrow at it and I would scream back at Ozis. Hey buddy, unfortunately, like uh, we should all get out of here and then you should drop your water walking so we can swim. And that'll be the end of my turn. Well, that's the problem. So I, I, it's how quickly do they drown? Two rounds, so, three rounds? Pretty fast. You get your con bonus in rounds. So what's your con bonus, Kanaeus? I have a I have a sixteen constitution, so plus three. Okay. So you have three let's see. But if you're that's if you're holding your breath. You can't hold your breath. So it's okay. A creature can hold his breath a number of minutes equal to one plus its constitution modifier. Minutes. Of minimum of oh, 30 okay. seconds. Um, where's, the, where's the short end? Is when a short creature or runs short out of that? breath, it can survive a number of rounds equal to its constitution modifier. Hmm. All right. Hold on just I a second. Rumble. Hold on just a second. Jim, I just want to confirm something. Fairlight threw a nay of the ring, right? Threw it up in the air. Yeah.
You got you got some okay, then. you got an idea? Uh, kind of. It's more just like it's kind of what Ziz was thinking, but it'll be easier with the ring, you know, than anything else. If she if she can give the ring to Zip, you know, when he gets down there, whether he they won't need Ozis for the spell. Well, the thing is, here's what I need to know: Where is the coast in in this? Is this where the coast is right here, or where I'm standing? Is it that the coast? Where my token right now is that the is that the shore? Did I lose you guys? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. Okay. I had to mute for a second because um, my wife dialed me, but it turned out to be uh, an accidental dial. So okay, I wasn't sure if there was an emergency or something. So that's why yeah, that happens. So um, all right. So what is what was your questioning? And I didn't hear it all because I was trying to. Where where is the shore in relationship to where I'm at right now? So I will draw it for you. Uh, it's kind of you can sort of follow your eyes here a little bit, but it goes like this. Oh, like so that. I am at the I am at the yeah, and this goes like that too. But either way, it's all shore for you because water walking lasts an hour. <clears throat> dot dot dot. Unless you dispel it, is is that right? No, no. Actually, it only it, it's one of those weird spells where it lasts for the full hour. Once you cast, you can't it. dispel it. Is if that you no? I didn't dispel I, magic. I probably could. No, that's what I thought too. Oh wow. Everyone, Everyone on the on the board seems to be saying no. I threw the question out there. Oh, what I mean, seems... you can cast another spell that dispels magic. It. I don't even know if you can do that because you're kind of cast. It's it's. Yeah, I it's would the, say that. It's the school that it's from, and it's way you're casting it. I would think you would you the caster would be able to undo it. I mean, it's bound to your. Well, magic. that's what I thought. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can I just read this to you, Jim? Yeah. Just to be super clear. The spell grants the ability to move across the liquid surface, right? Yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. As if it were harm, harmless. Th this is where DM discretion is advised. Of the 10 willing creatures you can see gain within range, gain this ability for the duration. It It's not gains this burden. It's we are able to walk on water or we are... I mean, that's how I would read it, but you can, you do what you want, but gains the ability is different from gaining the burden of, to me. Well, what happened would, was that we were talking about, okay, what happens if it's I like, die or, or if I dispel it myself because I cast it, and then we were like, oh, everyone loses it. But no, that's not the case. Once you, once you, from what I've been reading, when I'm reading in the forums and stuff, everyone is thinks it as being that once you cast it, you have a whole hour of not being able to go underneath a, a liquid surface. And that presents other mm. problems. For example, if we wanted to dive in right now and save these guys, or let's say someone tried a rope around your neck and threw a brick down, you're going to strangle the death on the top of the water. <laughs> here's what here's what I'll say. Uh, I here's here's a question in um, the forums. Here. So this is what uh, this is what Chat GPT says. He was reasonable. That's what I would think. It gives you the ability, but not the r requirement to walk on the water. Because that would be crazy. Well, what can you dispel it with? Yeah. No, I don't think you need to dispel it. I think each person that you grant the ability to has the option to use the ability or not use the ability. Like, you don't have the ability to walk on water normally. Now you do if you have a spell cast on you, but you, you surely could have the ability to go underwater wa if you want, unless it's a wall of force on a on top of the ocean. You know, that's not what this spell seems to be. It's funny, Sage Advice only has Matt Mercer responding to it. And he's not. And what even, does he say? His answer is a question. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Everyone, it's it's not. 
So the way it allows I... walking on water, but doesn't repel breaking the surface. I imagine they can still be dragged under, perhaps strength versus spell DC. Yeah, no, I, it's not clear. So no. I, 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 let's just vote right now. Does water walking allow you to turn it off? Because I, I, I think it either needs to be on or off, right? I think it's, it's the duration on, for the hour. And once you... Even if you fall unconscious, you are laying on top of the water. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, right. So that would be the other. But like, right? if you fell so, unconscious, you wouldn't. You wouldn't choose to not use it. You would be using it, and then you would be not conscious. Right, unless you turned it off. And so if you turned it off, then you could go underwater, but then you can't turn it back on. Yeah, I think turning it off is like a conscious choice. Like, yeah, but I'm no longer going to be using this new thing. I so, remember like from earlier when you said pretty much when I was unconscious, I was drowning because of the rain, even though I had the rain on. You, Yeah, but that's different. You have a ring. Yeah, you have a ring. You weren't drowning. Yeah, yeah, you unless you, you were face planted in the water, maybe I don't know. I don't recall that, you yeah, drowning. That is, yeah, that is what happened. I face planted in the water for a little bit. It was it was only around, but oh, okay. Well, I okay. I don't know. I thought people were going underwater, and then you reminded us that you had. Well, rain see, we'll open. see here. It was read the. Before the Thunder Caves, right? When you were rowing your boat in? Yeah, see, yeah. the water the water walk spell has a long duration. It can't be dismissed. Oh, where does it say that? Yeah, yeah but then underneath there it says, yeah, but see, how could you... What would you possibly have that says, oh, I don't want to use it right now? I mean, That's I mean, what I mean. It like, it like, so I have a ring of jumping, right? It doesn't mean everywhere I walk, I have to jump. I use it when I need it. It's, that's what yeah, but, it is. It, but you said it right there. You said you have a ring. And the but way like if I, I have the jump spell put on me, right? Like if you have the jump spell put on you, it doesn't mean that you can't walk. It just means that you can jump. Right? Like, Jim, if I was to cast like jump, whatever the spell is on Ozus, it's not like Ozus has to bunny hop everywhere he goes he can't he can jump when he chooses to that's what I don't know. That's yeah that's when you activate me. the spell and then you jump right you yeah, activate but, your no, but, you, but you don't but no no if i cast jump on somebody right just as a spell it gives him the ability to jump and he doesn't have to jump he could walk or dig under the ground or lay down or take it or take a nap right like it isn't like i cast it and he jumps it's I cast it to give him the ability to. Mm -hmm. Where's the dispel? I'll say that's see, how the, I would read it. The way I'm reading I mean, it, it is the, the, the school that's coming from it's transmutation. So you're transforming something, so it'll, it'll last a duration. Is the way I'm reading it. I my opinion is something that's fair. Is like it only the the caster can turn it on and off, but it takes an action. And once you, you turn it off, you have to recast it. That's my personal, you know, two ten cents on this. Yeah, but then I could make the argument there with the light spell, where I grab something and turn it, and it has a light. You know, it that spell stops as soon as I cast that spell on something else. Yeah, you you've chosen to stop. Giving no, 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 no. I recast the spell. It dispelled the duration mm -hmm. and, and I, I recast the spell. Oh. Wait, where is it? Where's it dispel? I want to read the dispel. Dispel magic. Is it dispel magic? Or just dispel? I mean, Jim, it's, it's up to you, Jim. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I think I'm going to put on my little judge, you know, those the white wig. And uh, here we go. I think that it says it grants the ability to move across any liquid surface. For an hour. So not I, the responsibility. N not the requirement to yeah. walk across any surface. So I think that 
here here's my thought either it's on or it's off and if you choose to not walk on water anymore then you um don't walk on water you can no longer walk on water yeah right like you can't uh, turn it that on that fair. requires the cleric to cast the spell to turn it on and you can turn it off when you want so if you yeah. want to turn it off then you'll have to swim all the way back up with the dude in plate armor yep <laughs> if that's what you so can i go back and do that on my turn because i didn't get to yeah i still have go... 30 yeah. feet of movement but i don't know how how deep they are though my first suggestion is this is wait one round. Okay. That's fair. That's the table right talk. The, the dying guy yeah, is telling fine. you to wait. All right. Okay. Fine. Well, no. <laughs> okay, it's, fine. It's, it's the dragon fair, fair. literally less than 10 feet from him saying, it's like screaming in his head, I have the fucking ring. Okay. Yeah, but you aren't going to get to him. But go, go. Uh, it's Oz's turn, or some, some. So are we all good with that? We, are we good that you can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yep. choose to not walk on water anymore. Yep. So you're not forced to walk on water for the whole hour. You can end but it whenever you, you want, turn but it then it on. ends. Right, but then it ends. Yeah. You good with that? Everyone yep. good with that? Yep. Sure. Yep. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Zith, is there anything you want to retcon about what you did? <laughs> nope. Nope. Okay. I would be Off. looking, trying to see him. All right. I uh, see. We forgot the catapult guy. All right, Ezra. What are you gonna do? Yeah. So I, I'm thinking about the catapult guy because I don't want him to come get us later. He lit that um, rock up over there with uh, fire. You remember that? What? He lit up the rocks yeah. over there with fire and trying to get Ziff. Who is hiding behind the rocks? Um, I don't know why it's not letting me move my character. Um, the only thing I can think of is the sword is. The so you just don't have the right thing selected, but I don't know. That's no, I got. you selected. I got yeah, I'm selected. It just it just keeps pinging my own character. Okay. Did you pause the game? No, 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 no. All right, where do you want to go? Ping where you do want to go, and I'll move you there. Um, I just want to get closer to the ship. I just want to try and get back on so I can attack the guy. Okay, so there's like these the ropes, you know, rope ladders along yeah. the side of the ship here. So you could do that. Yeah, but so I can't probably see go from there. You can go like here and then start climbing. Right? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's do that. All right, so I'll put you up on top of the ship. That's fine. Okay. Not a big deal to climb up that rope ladder. All right. Okay. So there's um, your move. What else do you want to do? That's your 30 feet. Yeah. How far away am I from the guy I'm trying to look? Uh... Oh, you didn't see him go in. He, he's not there. You don't see him. The uh, guy in the corner? Oh. Yeah, he's not there. Okay. Um, you just see this really big sword and shield standing up there, um, standing guard. Actually, does he get attacked? You don't get attacked by that because you're friendly. Right. It's people who are hostile to me. Yeah. I mean, he could be hostile. I've seen him. I've seen him do it. That's true. I have a feeling um, we're not we're not using the skeleton the right way. We're not using the what? We're not using the skeleton the right way. I disarmed it, so I feel like I used it the, the correct way. Oh, okay. I mean, I could attack it, but I don't really see the point. It's not yeah. really doing anything. <laughs> How tall is the mass? Is there any way we can knock over the mass and it falls over in that well, direction? It's not a, you can like start hacking it down if you want to, but you're not going to knock it over. I always set things on fire. <laughs> it, well, it's sort of still, you know, <laughs> smoldering. It's smoldering. Okay, yeah. It has that big, it has that big flaming green eye at the top. That's what that special effect is. That's the flaming green eye at the top. Can I attack the eye? I've seen that before. It's like floating above a brazier 
like a flaming brazier up in the crow's nest. Okay, that's uh, probably too far then. Your general uh, impression is that this may be um, a, a living thing. Like this ship might not be just made of bones. And it's not really in character for the storm people to have a bone ship, right? I feel kind of useless right now because I can't really do anything to save Canaris, but I also don't really see like anything to attack and I don't want to waste any more spells. I wonder if he dies, can we can we pull him up and I can bring him back to life real quick? Just let him die anyway. And then just bring them up. If you're fast enough. Uh, I, I don't really have much I can do here. I'm just gonna end. This water walk is the only thing I have right now that can yeah. save them. But I gotta get out there and. Ooh. No, that won't. Okay, be so the problem here, Canaeus, is that the seven bridges problem. I think. One of the gonna... issues that you're going to have with is that you, um, when a creature runs out of breath, it can survive a number of rounds equal to its constitution modifier. So you are, you are not holding your breath. You can't. Mm -hmm. I'm, so, I'm currently in the process of pre-drowning. We now mark... I'm going to just mark it on your character sheet. You have three rounds, right? Yes. Okay, so you now have two rounds. I'm marking it down. All right. You may now make a saving throw to see if you can move. It has to be wisdom. Mm hmm Nope. That oh, would be still just... held. How far in the water is he? So... You're down probably thirty or forty feet right now, in oh. the dark in the dark water, and you felt yourself move a little bit to the side too, but you are hardly aware of what's going on. You are drifting into unconsciousness. You're starting to to in two to rounds. You're going to have zero hit points, and um, so that is. That's what we're dealing with. I have zero hit points in two rounds, and then you die. And you start making death saves. Jim. But... Jim. Can yes. I, giant might does not have any verbal, somatic, or material components. Can I use that? I don't think you can with paralyzed. Let's look real quick. Because that's a good question. And I want to let you do cool things if it's possible. Like if you can just will it to happen, then yeah. um, may, then maybe that's enough. Let's see. Paralyzed says a paralyzed creature is incapacitated. An incapacitated creature can't yeah. take actions or reactions. So that would require a bonus Thanks. action for you to use it, right? Yes. You're, you're uh, basically stinking, you are stinking like a rock. Is what it, what yeah, that's an action. Got. A bonus action yeah. is an action. Ah. I was hoping you'd around, so. try to use legal jargon, but nice try. It was, it was, you know, it was a good effort. All I right. Mean, the plan was literally just creating a you know, disturbance that it'd be easier for Zith to find me. Everything against you has advantage. Any attack that hits you is a critical hit. Um, yeah. You know, if Zith jumps into the water, goes in after you, and I get over Zith, I can do water walk and bring you both up. Uh, they have to be within 30 so, feet, and you have to be able to see them. Speaking yes. Of speaking of the house paralyzed. Uh, house paralyzed. Oh. She's doing great. She is no longer held by you. She is... Ow. Because she's a squiddy. Come on. Oh yeah. No, I was I was grappling her, and then she forced me into a perma grapple. Yeah. She made so you could move, and then she just like 
when she's underwater, she can do some kraken like, you know, octopus shenanigans. So she's dragging you down under the water now. All I'm right. Just, if I could, I would be glaring at her. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> I know you would. That would be just like you. You'd be giving her the stink eye. Okay. I mean, the only thing I could do. Okay. All right. So, so Anea um, flips the ring over to Zith. And um, she just um, flicks her little paper tongue at you. Oh, wait, I have a question. How deep can Zith swim? Uh, swimming is difficult terrain. And you get, so you get half your movement if you're swimming. So how many feet would that be for you? I, th that's. That still makes Zith like Mark Spitz for some reason. But no, what happens is is Zith dives into the water, grabs Kaneas. I'm over Zith and I do the water walk on. I can't see Kaneas, but I can see Zith. If Zith has got hold of Kaneas and I bring Zith up, he'll drag Kaneas up behind him. You get okay. it? I'm That's sure. I understand what your plan is. So right, Oz, is what are you going to do? Well, obviously, I'm going to cast Water Walk on myself. I don't know if I should cast it on Zith. Hang on a second. Uh, you, you still have He's Zith. out of range anyway. Yeah, we all still have that. Like, we're all good. It's an hour, dude. That's like an eternity. No, I, 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 took, time. I took it off myself. But then Remember? I thought you put it back on because you realized that like taking it off yourself actually takes it off. That happened last session. Like you took it off because you just wanted to clear your thing out. And then Jim told you that like, oh, then you take it off everybody. So he let you put it okay, back on. So let me, let so me I think we all have it still. Let me recast yeah. it on and don't, and don't And don't, and don't, and, and don't use the spell slot. I'm blocked by a wall. How am I blocked by a wall? What well, wall? Who are you trying to? Maybe your sword. I'm tr I'm trying to recast it on myself. Oh well, aim at yourself then. You I did. Have someone I, else I, targeted. I, no, I got myself selected. Let's uh, let's deselect everything. Oh. I select myself. There we go. Uh, water wall. Okay. So now the thing is, I can't cast this underwater because I need a verbal. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's where I'm at. Um, can I dash on water? Sure. Okay. But that requires, that... but but you used your action. Did no? You didn't cast a spell. We were just right. replaying it. Yeah, go ahead. Dash away. Dash away. One, two, three, four. But still, I. I'm assuming that he's right here. Is that blood spot is, right? Is that where Kinesis is? I don't I don't know where Kinesis is. Uh what can I cast? I mean, like your rocks like you underwater, so So Dash was your action, so the only thing you yeah. have left is a bonus action. <laughs> and my bonus action is healing word but that's not going to do anything okay so that ends my turn Our turn. okay okay i'm just going to figure out a way to get you up for 30 feet so i can
Yeah, it's the only way that's going to work. Who's your good swimmer? Did we lose someone? No, I don't think so. turn is it next it's now round 13 and zith gets to go that's the only chance we have okay you, uh, you dive in right. and pig and we'll piggyback them up so jim would we have seen any like bubbles or any thing on where the water they submerged. That an idea just where they submerged so, but now where they've been like breathing and letting out stuff, we don't, we just don't know, right? Correct. Okay. I mean, he wasn't breathing so would... in the beginning, so he. I mean, he exhaled underwater. He's he's. So just remember, I would use my action to get out of the water. What? What? But when you put the Orkins? ring on underwater, you'll zip out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I have it. It's not on. Um, yeah. Now, does the ring allow you to cast the spell, or does the ring immediately give you the the effect? Remember, Important the question. Right. The effect. Okay, okay. So it's in my hand, um, and I use my movement to dive down. That'll be 15 feet. Do I see anything? Okay, I'll let you make, again, a perception check at disadvantage. With a DC 15. Now I could see him Perception. going down, correct? Zith? Oh, well, that's not, that's, I, I don't need to roll more. Um, oh. That was terrible. Okay. Oh. So uh, I use my special uh, <laughs> movement. So I use my movement oh, to get sure. down 50 feet. I use my action to go down 15 more feet and then take another look around, Jim. Okay, go ahead. So is it still at disadvantage or? Yeah, because there's the nature of the now? water, it's really churned up okay. and difficult to see it. Okay. So it's like worse than just darkness. So even your dark vision is not very helpful here. No, oh, I'm never gonna find this. You said it's a DC what? A 15. Oh. Wow. Uh, I have to think about this very carefully. So at this point, I still have no idea even what direction they're in, like general area, right? No, and you can't tell by the current or any, because yeah. the water's moving yeah. around all over the place. It's all, there's all kinds of sand or whatever in the water making it difficult to see there's seaweed there's you know all kinds of stuff anybody have good ideas i'm gonna do a quick look at my spells i don't think there's anything that can help me in this situation you just do a quick look there's a missy step i don't know what you could do you just get down far no i i have a missy step but i just don't know where to go that's the problem does that require verbal uh that's a good question so misty step misty step sorry it's it's a it's a fate touch thing uh, components verbal yes so i need to speak which i can't do underwater so um i'm no, going I'll tell to you what. i'll tell you what you could you'll just let out your air to do it yeah but i don't know what direction he is He's in, like, I have no Correct. sense of it. Yeah. Correct. So I'm going to uh, put the ring on as my bonus action and go back up to the top and tell uh, everyone who can hear me, I didn't get a sense of it. This is really fucking bad. Um, I couldn't go deep enough. I'm pretty good at swimming, but I just didn't get a sense of where he's at. Um, and I will hand the ring to i'm just looking for one second 
I'll hand the ring to Ozus. Am I close enough? Like, can I get to him? Uh, yeah, you like, like see, just I can't, pop right I up, came up here. right next to him. Yeah. You like pop up right. Yeah. You just pop up out of the water like a. I don't know. You got yeah, just like didn't get in. Just like a five, a five year old like didn't find Marco Polo. Here's the ring. Good luck. Give it back to me uh, if you can't find him. Oh, you know what? I tell Zip to dive back down. Dive back down to get him. I can't. I don't have anything left. Because, see, what I could have done was, you remember, I've got my silver balls. i got quite a few of them. All I could do Most is... Most people I just could, have two. He has. I know, but I've got a few silver balls. Um, what I could do is cast light on that as a cantrip and drop it into the water. I'll drop it. I'll give you a light to see where he's at. My turn's done, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I mean, yeah. I've used all my movement, use my bonus action, use my action. Ezra, you're up on top of the ship. What are you going to do? How are we feeling about attacking the? Giant you could go down the stairs into the ship if you want. Oh, there are stairs right there that go down inside the ship. Yeah, let's pop down these stairs. Yeah, I like it. Well, all righty. I think the giant isn't giving us any issues yet. I mean, if you want to take a swing at that mast. Um, yeah, that was like my thought, but it's like, I don't really know the point of doing it is the issue. Yeah, yeah, no, he hasn't, the, the mast has not shot any fireballs out. Man. Yeah. You are correct. Um, so I guess I'll go down the stairs closest to me. <laughs> what could go wrong? He's looking for like a sand, like a sand, a sandwich or like a porta potty or something. That's mm -hmm. great. Something useful. Okay, check out the galley. Um, all right, hold on a sec. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just, I was enjoying myself for there, there for a moment. Um, all right, you go down and I'm going to grab your character. Da, 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 da. Ezra. And I'm going to pull you to this map. All right, it's going to load a new scene for you. Mm -hmm. This is the ore deck. It looks like the belly of a whale with gargantuan ribs sweeping the walls to form the rowing benches for the undead crew. The deck underfoot is littered with humanoid bones to a depth of about one foot. Two large unmanned drums are positioned to the rear of the deck. Can you see them? Uh, yeah, I can see two gentlemen, sure. Yeah. Um, there are two large minotaur skeletons that are perched above the drums. Um, and you said they're undead? Yeah, they're skeletons. Okay, just making sure. They're just like, uh, they're like, uh, just kind of looming over the drums. Like maybe at some point two minotaurs would beat the drums while these poor humanoid creatures that now have littered the ground with all their bones would or would row the oars. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking. So there's the staircase continues down if you want to go down further, or you can explore this deck. Let's go down one more floor. Why not? Okay, so you just kind of hustle past these guys and turn right back around and go 
You got to go, um, like you just jump over to the other side of the stairs and go down some more, right? Yeah, they don't even see me. All right, so busy. this takes you to the next deck, and, and here is a different um, story on this deck. What you see here is st string hammocks are strung up here like cobwebs. Uh, when they enter this area, you hear singing drifting from the cabin at the north. Do I have any movement left? No, I think you've you've done enough here. Okay. All right. Um, caused you enough trouble going yeah. down two decks. You are now well separated. Do you mean, you know that old adage they use in D and D all the time? What is that? Don't split the party. Yeah, yeah don't split the party up. <laughs> Congratulations. You are two levels down from where everyone else is. Okay. I guess at that point I'm going to end my turn. <laughs> yes. Because I can't yes. do anything. Yes, and then I'm going to end your life. That's what that's cool. what's next. Yeah. Great. So um this uh this place has all these hammocks you can see that on the map right there's all these hammocks uh yeah are... i can see like two of them yeah okay so they're they're all kind of just all over the place over there and you hear music coming from the door to the north like right here okay um singing not music i mean there, i guess there's music but singing now oh make a uh you're gonna need to make a wisdom save make a a wisdom no, ability check do it do a wisdom ability check just wisdom it's, it's memory that i'm looking for here all right that's good you think for a minute that that's zith in the other room singing Okay. Because because the word sounds the the way the words are going is very familiar. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Do you understand what the connection I'm drawing? It sounds like him talking. No, it's not his voice, but you thought at first maybe it was, but you can tell it's not him, it's someone who can actually sing. because uh, Zith can't. Um, but Zith was singing before this tune that he was trying to, because he had some kind of vision. Mm -hmm. And he was telling people about this this particular poem that he was singing, right? This song about some distant land or something. And it sounds familiar like that. Okay. All right, back to the others. So you're going to stay here. Um, wait, where are you? Oh, oh, there it is. Sorry. Okay. So, um, all right. So that's you. I'm going to go back up here to the others who are trying to find soon to be corpse of Canaeus. And speaking of the corpse of Canaeus, mm. We're going to mark you down one more round. You may make a saving throw, sir. No! Oh, oh man! Kidding me. Wow! Seriously? Okay. Wowzers. Well... Oh, yeah. Anaria, Anaria. That one. Yep, that's exactly right. Okay, someone do something. I'm about to die. Which is what... Yeah. An an now he's worried. Screaming. I'm screaming to... Yeah, I'm screaming into Anaya's mind. Help me! I'm drowning. Okay, so Anaya um, begins to um, make strange kazoo-like sounds about you know an, an alarm. It sounds like a kazoo because that's pretty Can much what I her have... throat looks like—a kazoo. I have a question. Can Anaya yeah. assist Ozus in finding me if he, if she goes down with him? I mean, she's waterproof. Yeah, but she she could drown too. Yeah. So, uh, but that's what she does. 
she I, she is alarmed she her tongue comes out like a you know like those party favors right and it comes out like that and flaps on the end and she's making alarming sounds like a kazoo out of control and then you see her do this little a loop to loop backflip and she goes right into the water. How far is Kinase? We don't know yet, do we? Nope. So, um, who's the both of you are on top of the water, right? Yeah. Okay, so I she goes this. down, and you see that as she goes down, she suddenly darts a different direction, like to the south. Well, whatever. The but. The bottom of the map. She starts to. She doesn't go straight down. She starts to change direction. Oh, Positive. so she, what do you do? So she's starting. She's starting to go and. Mm, why does it do that? She knows where I am. Yeah. Delete that. Oh, hey, Ozis. Do you have to be touching something to put it, a light spell on it? No, I could. I could. I can What's just the range. The light spell? Yeah. The light touch. spell is the uh, is a touch. All right. You touch. Yeah. She was right there with you. I will let you cast your cantrip as a reaction since you're planning on doing it on your little steel balls anyway, right? Yeah. On on her as she goes down. So you can light up the pseudo dragon. Um, I had to select her. That's fine. No, I, don't worry about it. You can just, we'll just, it's, there's no bookkeeping on a cantrip. So if okay. you want to do that, you can do that. Yeah. And now can I see where she's, where she went? Yeah. So you see this glow underwater and that's how you see that she goes down and then she quickly just darts another direction going into going this way. Okay, so how far is she? Yeah, she can fly a, pretty fast. No, 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 uh, no. How far? How far down is she? Sixty feet. So underwater, yeah, she's going down. Uh, she's probably about forty feet underwater. See, I still need to bring him up another ten feet. To do what? To use water walk on him. Oh yeah, you the ring. or or you can give him the ring, right? Oh yeah, give him the ring. Or, yeah, I'll give him the ring. Zip, ha zip, or, zip yeah, left yeah. to do that. I'm okay, so confused. I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have the ring. That's right. Zith has the ring, and I have a so water walk able... spell on me. I, Zith, are you there? I I I came up I came up and I gave Ozus the ring and I said I can make it. So I gave. He has the ring. So I gave. Ozzy, you have the ring. When I touched her, that's how I touched her by giving her the ring. Mm. Problem solved. Okay. And that's why she's lit up. Did you what? What did you do? I gave her I the ring. I think you cast the light spell on her, but I don't know if you gave her the, the ring. I mean, maybe you did. Okay. So. <laughs> okay, or what? You cast the light spell on the ring, and then she took the ring. I could do that as long as you need to be able to. That so works. I, I, okay, so I cast a spell on the light ring, and she went to find Kanaeus. Okay. All right. So that ends your turn. Mm hmm. Kanaeus. You don't get to go just yet, but you do get to see the very scary picture of this um, very sharp toothed war priest in your face. Where's the picture? Um, I don't know if I can, sh maybe I can show it to you. Can I show? Hmm. Hmm. I don't. I thought there was a way to do it from here, maybe from here. Nope. 
Uh, how about... Oh, wait, I know. I can go to the folder. Oh. You guys can't... You guys have not seen that picture of her? Hold on. So. I thought you could tell from her token. But maybe oh, we can. Zoom in, yeah. zoom in close enough. Okay. I'll I put it in. Bring up a picture. In session. I was going to. I'll put it in the in session chat. <clears throat> yep, that's her. Definitely not my type. She says, um, "My lord." Could have used you and her it's kind of bubbling and stuff underwater but she can talk underwater she says my co my lord could have put you to good use but you've resisted him so now it's just time for you to die and she sticks her little shiv right under your ribs i think this moment chance is very glad that his mouth is you know he can't, can't really breathe, you know, exhale more than he already is. He has the spell. That's, so you are going to, you're going to take critical damage. She's going to roll of course. to see if she can stick you through your armor. So I'm going to do that first. I think I have, I'm still holding my sword, so that's a 19. not letting me roll because underwater we are literally crossing a wall together. So hold on. I have to move this a little bit just so I can allow it to roll. Do, 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 do. Target. Or Kmart. What did you like? Target. 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 <laughs> Target. Alright. So... Something weird is going on. That's bizarre. So maybe it's not just... Yeah. I've got... Alright, screw it. I'm going to roll it from here. Actions. Um... It's going to say mall, but it's not a mall. It's, uh... it's those spiky claw, Wolverine claw thingies. Yes. Yes. Hit. Yes. What? I saw a five. Oh, I must have not seen the. Uh, she rolled with one. advantage. Yeah. Damn it. It, it appears to me by one. What's that? Yeah, she got through it, by one. She just sticks it up into your ribs and she just like, eh. and it does 11. 11 points of damage so that'll take you down to 30 and and then she says uh, enjoy drowning and she just lets you sink down below her she stays where she's at and you just sink further down into the darkness you lose sight of her as you sink down all right ain't possible with my eyes What's that? Impossible for me. You can't take actions. You, you, you can't. No, you can I, see. I have dark, I have, yeah, I, mean, I, yeah, but, I can see her. But can you just see? It's not darkness. It's murky, uh, gro gross water. Yeah, so, but how deep? How deep uh, is he? That's all. It's just nasty water. So when I said darkness, I kind of meant you know. Wait, are you talking New York nasty of water, or are you talking what's like yeah, the yeah? It's really, really nasty. It's just all churned up. Okay, there's Sid. seaweed. There's all kinds of stuff under. There's big sharks. You know, megalodon. Um, Ziff. Meg. Yeah. So, like question. Um, Misty Step requires me to see the place that I'm going to, but what if I've already seen it? So can I can I misty step back to the point that I was? Is my question. Up on land? No, no, down where I was going down. Where I I went down third. I would say yes. Just like you can misty step up into the air, 
right? Because you know there's yeah. nothing up there. The idea is you can't teleport into a solid object, right? So you got to be able to see. Yeah. And you can't go to the other. Like, it's just because you've seen it before doesn't mean you can get there. Like, you couldn't. I've been on the other side of that wall, so I'm going to teleport outside. I wouldn't allow that. You still need to be able to see where you're going. But in this case, no. you know that it's 30 feet down or wherever. Yes, you can go back. Yeah. You're not going by memory. You're going by, I know there's nothing nothing down there that's going to. That's going to hinder just, me, yeah. I was just there, and there's nothing between me and it, so I'm okay with that. So I'm going to take my bonus eight. action and go with, yeah. Yeah, so he can uses DNA, right? Yeah. Got it. So As you're still I would... going after that. What was that? You're still going after that guy in the boat, right? I mean, I'm there for now, but I don't know how useful that's going to be. I wonder if you could shoot the part harpoon into the water if it got some rope on it. So, so, so Zith would go down thirty feet to where he was with a bonus action, mm -hmm. and he'd start to swim towards the light. Um, okay. So, my action is. Or my movement is fifteen feet under water. Would I get there at forty-five feet? Back to you're an, catching like to up Anaya. to Anaya. Yeah, you're you're catching yeah. up to Anaya. Yeah. Okay. And when I catch up to Anaya, would I see Patrick or Canaeus? Not yet. Point? She's not there. She's still flapping underwater like a like a penguin. I have no sense of where he is, but she's like, so she's going in a direction. So she seems like she's on I a mission. Yep. Like maybe she can tell where he's at because of their telepathy. Yeah. Let me just check one thing. Uh, I mean, I was going to go before. Yeah. So I'm going to see if Anaya will give me the ring. Uh, I can't communicate this through her because I can't talk to her. Right? She doesn't know a, lang a language. But um, I would be common. swimming. Oh, common. Okay, so I would tell her underwater. If I don't, yeah, like you know how like you can mouth things. Like I would be pointing to like the direction that she's going. Like if I get to him first, or if I don't get to him, you take the ring from me, and I. I'd grab the ring if she would give it to me, and I'd go another 15 feet in the direction that she's going. And that's all my movement. That's okay. all I got. 30, 15, 15. Okay. So can I see Canaeus at the end of my turn? Not yet. Wow. Okay. We got problems. Okay, Ezra. Just gotta pull you back here. You left the map. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. No, you're fine. Kick player or pull to scene? I guess pull to scene. All right. All right. So I guess I'll walk towards the singing. I'll play along. Okay. Oh, you can't move still? Um, oh, no, there you go. Oh, maybe I can now. Hold on. Nope. <laughs> nope. You were doing fine for a second there. I was, I was very um, optimistic. Okay. All right, so you go toward where you hear the singing. I guess I would open that door. Is it a door yeah. or is it just an open the door? No, it's a door. Okay, I guess let's open the door. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, you open the door and look in. 
And what you see here is the corpse of a knight wearing plate armor slumped on a throne at the rear or this far down the bow of the ship. He's slumped over on a throne. The ship's bones spill from the knight's chest and are entwined with his body, fusing him to the vessel. Um, I guess I would. As his head comes up, oh, to the out of sight to the left, you hear a gasp of surprise. From uh, Tarbin Tull, a bard. Wait, isn't he dead? Apparently not. So I guess I would step into the room. So I have uh, some movement left. Okay. So and this I guess is I would... Tarbin Tull. He is shocked that you've just walked in on him and he stops singing. The knight lifts its head slowly at you and all you see is um, uh, immediately you notice that he has um, his armor is emblazoned with emblems that are ancient. I don't think you know anything about about it, but you can make no. um, an intelligence check if you would like, uh, sure. or history, intelligence or history check. Uh, okay. Was that ability check? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope. You're a okay. wisdom guy, not an intelligence guy. Clearly. Um. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> He, he just lifts his head to you. He is, um, he is immobile. He's fused to his throne. But his eyes, um, you can see through his uh, helmet, are these wispy pinpricks of green light. Okay. And he looks to be now, would I? Go ahead. How dare you interrupt? I guess I would probably speak to the bard and just be like, hey, what, what's going on here? What are you guys <laughs> doing <laughs> down here? He is, uh, he's terrified. Um, the bard is terrified? Yeah, he looks absolutely terrified. Um, and and um he says what get out what are you doing we're, we're gonna die i don't like where this is heading uh where's that gravity thing again he says ember lost will make this ship kill us I have to sing. I have to name? sing. Yeah. He says, I have to sing. You don't understand. <laughs> uh, um, All right. Go ahead. I'm going to stop there. You think about what you're going to do. We're going back up okay. into the water where Canaeus is about ready to die. Okay. All right. Yep. No Canaeus. Pressure. You are now at zero hit points. Don't you get our saving throw? Yeah, you can have a saving throw. I still need to know how far away he is so I can... Yep. Uh. I am really not wise. Okay, so I'm at zero hit points. Okay. Um... Uh, you know what? I, I completely forgot I could do this. 
Hang on. This is. Let me join you in the house of knowledge, and forever keep thy books upon the shelf. And you just hear you you hear in your mind. Shut up, twit. Put on the ring. Wait, what? Anea. <laughs> yeah, everything's like it's you know tunnel tunnel vision like this. And it's going out, and all of a sudden you see this tongue flick up, and Anea puts the puts the ring on or tries to. You are unconscious, unable to move. You failed your save again. You're just you're not able to do it. So it's gonna take. Um, Zith, probably. So you need to. Um, no, that's fine. You went to zero this turn. You're good. Ozis. Next turn, you'll, you'll start making death saves. Okay. Can't be worse than, than my wisdom saves. Yeah, they they, they can because these death, these saves will kill you. But um. Well, I'm dead either way. So. All right, Zith, you're trying to catch up to Anaya. She sped past you again. Um and snatch the ring from you. And now it looks like she's kind of going in circles. You can only see because there's this dull glow in all of the crap going on that's in the water. So yep. you can head that way and you should have, if you make an athletics check, you should be able to get there with half your movement. If you fail your athletics check, the the current is going to, the tide or current or whatever is going to cause problems. and. You'll have to um, waste an action, so you can still use your bonus action, but you'll you'll lose an action. But on the sorry, on the combat tracker it says it's Oz's turn. Oh, I'm sorry, Oz's. You're right. I was thinking um, of I was thinking of you, but I knew I knew it was Oz's. My bad. Okay, so Oz's, what are you doing up top? Just hanging out? No, well, I thought that I. I'm just I'm checking stuff real quick. I thought if I didn't use any of my channel divinity, I could cash it in for one spell slot, but I don't see that anymore. I can't do that. Um, I guess what I'm going to do is, is march on over towards where he is and hopefully that if I see him. Okay. So you're going to try to stay above him on the water two, so you get your movement just to move three, over there. Yep. Four. And can I see him? Um, no. No, they're too far underwater. They're outside of your... Like, you'd have a chance if it was like within 30 feet or so to see, but it looks like even Zith is too far down. Well, then all I have to do is just sit and wait and just, you know, I'll have the moral support. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right. Guidance Guidance is a touch spell, right? Yeah. Yes. And he can't give the help action from where he is to anybody. Correct. Is that true? Yeah. Yep. All right, Zith. So you can make an athletics check. To see if you're gonna get bungled up in the the current and the oh time. yeah so I I know exactly what I'm gonna do so um, I'm going to clearly I can see the place now right and is circling it it looks like she's now going around like instead of a straight line an area yeah yeah going back and forth how, or around how, in circles or something how far does she seem from me at this point. I would say she's probably about uh, 35 feet or so. Yeah. So I'm going to do, so the first Misty Step will, was free for my thank you, Fae Touched. Second M M Misty Step will consume a spell slot, um, second level spell slot. I will Misty Step right towards Anaya. Okay. It doesn't take a verbal action. That's your call. If I can't do that, I totally understand. No, you can. 
but you now are are not holding your breath. So. Oh, so my you, time is nine. Yeah. You have, right. So now you have a number of rounds instead of minutes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Um, so oh, psh, I would, whatever. I would, yeah, it's, fine. Psh. it's fine. I would do that. I would, I would try and miss this up as close to an as I, as I could. It's 30 okay. feet. Yep. So that bonus action. Right. And now I'm, I just end up there and I'm probably like confused about where everything is. There's white light around me. Do I see Kanea, Kanea's yet? Um, make a perception check. Okay. Perception. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go, buddy. Let's go. Oh, not yeah. bad. Okay. Nice. Yeah, you you can make out as Anea is flying around. She's got the ring, right? And it's lit yeah. up. And so you can see as she goes around behind, it's like she went around a tree trunk, right? This, the light disappears and comes back around again. So you can kind of see the silhouette. And silhouette can of I a ask man. you... Um, could I, could I see from the silhouette who is holding whom? It looks like he's alone at this point. Unless he's she's alone. on the other, unless she's on the other side of him, it's a silhouette. It's hard to tell. Got it. So I there would, are tentacles. Um, you do see tentacles in the water swaying around. Could be yeah. very dangerous. I would, I would reach to grab the, um, with my, you know, I have some, I have my movement and my action left, right? Um, so I'd reach to grab, or I'd 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 cajole. No, did you make your athletics ring. check? Make an athletics check. Otherwise, you'll blow your. Would action. it have to if I? Would it have to if I do misty step to get in there? Oh, that was your action. Teleportation. So we still have that's like a bonus action. Yeah, but you still have like ten more feet to go. So you have to. So you can use your bonus action. I have my to, movement to dash. I have my movement and my action left. The misty step is a bonus action. Oh, okay. All right. So you dash. You said it was a bonus action. Either way, I would just use my 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 movement to get to Anea to grab the ring, and I I I hopefully grab the ring. I jam it on one of his fat fingers, and I just hold on to him. It's like pulling. Hope it works out. Pulling the uh, the the buoy devices. Yeah, it blows up and starts floating up toward the top. That's what I okay. hope happens. I hold really, really tight to his body, right. like, oh my god, let this work. Seems to me <laughs> like no it would left. take it would take the 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 dexterous adept fingers okay. of a rogue That's assassin fine. to pull that off. That's so. fine. That's fine. I got that. I got that. I think. Okay, buddy, let's go. Uh, uh, it would it would be a dex check. Dex check, right? Yeah. Yep. Not bad. Not great, but not but not bad. Fourteen. Okay, so here's here's the deal. You grab onto him, but you don't get the ring on him. Oh. So, so you you're holding onto him. He's still sinking. He's in plate armor. He's heavier than F right now. Okay, he's full of water. He's full of water. And his plate armor is full of water, and it's dragging you down further into seaweed. They weren't they weren't tentacles; they were seaweed. Anea has no way of helping you. You have the ring. You have Canaeus. You have no breath, and so you have your con in rounds before you drown. So, how many rounds is it? What's your con bonus? I probably have done. Uh... Uh, hold on. Uh, con is plus one. Okay. So you have one more round to get that ring on him, and then you will fall unconscious. So I did my movement to get to Anea. It's probably way less than I needed, right? Because I was near there. I still have my action unless I, unless the unless the um, trying dexterity to the check ring. was my yeah. action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. Yeah, was, I got it. Okay. Because you're underwater. He's slipping away from you. You're trying so a fourteen, I think, was good enough, like a partial success. You 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 grabbed him. You weren't able to get the ring on his finger because he, you're you suddenly started getting pulled down with him. Um, so yeah, next round, 
on your next action, you're going to need to succeed at putting that ring on him. It won't be that big a deal. You're holding his hand. You just got to put the thing on his fat finger before you pass out. Okay. Yeah. So as I'm going down, I would, I would like sort of point at Anaya like, help! Because she's the only thing that I could see that is friendly at this yeah. point. And okay. let's see how it goes. All right, Ezra, you've had some time, fraction of a second to think about what you're doing down there. Sure. So what are you doing? Um, I would probably talk to the knight and be like, why are you keeping this guy here? I miss my homeland. Where's your homeland? And Tarvin goes, Anaria, you fool. Are you paying attention? True, true. Okay. There, there's the song. <laughs> I mean, is there any way I can take this bard with me and bring him right back? He reminds me of Anaria. I'm tired. You should go to sleep if you're tired then. I hate intruders. Leave now or suffer a fate I... worse than death. All right, so I'm just going to leave this area and head back upstairs because I'm not. <laughs> I mean, there's not, I, I'm not really helping this guy out. I tell him, I'll come back for you. Okay. And he quickly hope, begins. Say, say a prayer. Yeah, you hear him quickly begin uh, singing. Let's see, where, where was I? Anaria. And then he starts singing uh. again. <laughs> All right. I guess I would just head back upstairs, try and get back to the guys, because at this point, there's, there's really no, nothing I can do for that guy. And, all right. You'll get this far. Okay. Okay, great. Um, all right. What a purposeful turn. <laughs> hey, you uncovered an important plot point. Sure. Yeah, that's what I did. That, that's, that, that was it. <laughs> that was the purpose. All right. Can I make a death save? Of course. Or would you like me to do it for you? You do it. Let's not have let's not have any spoilers for how long it's gonna be till I I'm pulling my corpse is pulling death under the water. Okay, I have made a note. Ozus, are you gonna do anything? You waiting with bated breath with the ready action? That apparently so. You're muted, so I'm going to assume that you're li literally bated breath. I'm sorry. I, I can't do anything unless I see them. Yeah. That's the only only way that I mean. It, oh. it, it, even if I stand right on top of them, I have to be able to see them. Right now, Zith is trying to um, raise the freaking Titanic. So we'll see how he does. Hold, hold on, hold on a second. And I see Zith. No. Shoot. You so can't there's see any, no... you can't you can't even see the light anymore. So, uh, so it's it's like this. I've I've got it on hold and ready, and as soon as I see them, I'll hit the water walk and then bring them up. Okay. And then and my turn. All right, Zith. Let's see it. Let's I what I what I want now is I want a Okay. I, I think we need to do maybe I'll let you choose. I think I know what you'll choose, but Light of Healing. The struggle to try to keep him from sinking while you're trying to put the ring on him, or you know, whatever. Um could be athletics or it could be 
Sleight of hand? The, Anybody? Yeah. Sleight Anybody? of hand. Sleight of hand. I mean, that's almost not fair, Jim. I know. So I'm Actually, giving you so a choice to pick the harder one if you want. Uh, uh, but you feel yeah. you feel consciousness. Be I'm like you're like. Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, so go ahead. Use your like, slide hand. How's this? How's it? acrobatics or dex? Like slide of hand seems un unfair. No, I think you're trying um, to get a ring on his finger. That makes perfect sense to me. It's the opposite okay, of right, taking right. a ring off someone's finger. So, yeah. Okay. Bam. Okay. All right. You get the ring on. So I shove it on, and I'm just holding on to him for dear life and hoping that we're going up and there wasn't some terrible mistake. That was a terrible mistake. He has to be conscious to activate a magic item. You sink further in, and he's not just, like, floating up in the air. Quick, what do you do? Oh, fuck me. Wait, so he he is... He is... Drowning. I'm he's still dying. attached to him, right? Yeah, yeah, you're hanging on to him. All right, so yeah, I I try and get a grip on him and try and put it on myself. Okay, so you get him like a scissor kick or something or something like that, and you take the ring off and put it on your own finger. Like, yeah, I hit, I like have him around the body with my on my left hand and with my right hand, like I'm trying to put the ring on me around the body on the left hand from from the right hand. Okay, hoping that it's enough. I, and and Zip, I just want to remind you, I'm still in the grappling position. Uh, like, I was holding on to someone. That's fine. Is that... Yeah, no, am I like, missing something? That's just, how you want to grab on. No, you, could, you could end up in the hug position with him if you want. Like, his arms oh, yeah, yeah. are out. I can go under, you can easily under use your that. arms. Yeah, and help buoy him up, yeah. right? <laughs> okay. All right, I need you to make yeah, a I'm, constitution I'm a saving throw. Uh, I suck at these. Why would you pick that? Okay, I know. Fine. Yeah, I gave you the easy one, and now you don't get the easy one. This is the suspenseful um, moment for you. The moment of truth. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm literally, for the first time in d and I'm going to close my eyes and hit the roll button. And <laughs> listen to your reactions. Reactions. Oh, my. Oh, that's a pretty good roll. Okay. Okay, I like that. What happened? Okay. That sounds like another like partial exactly. success. Like, yeah, you are losing consciousness. Um, you are, you are basically at zero hit points. Um, oh my God, everyone's dead here. No, Wait. you're. I'm not going to mark you to zero because you made. You are literally clinging to consciousness while you get the bends shooting straight up to the surface of the water with with um Canaeus, um kind of a, sort of above you and around you or whatever and yeah you're, you're gonna get to the he's not giant right he's normal he's size not right that would yeah. have been a real problem huh yeah that would have been a problem yeah uh okay so that brings you up you go 60 feet toward the surface you're zooming up like through the water shit. And I'm passed out, right? I mean, I'm passed you are, out. Yeah, you we're, are we're basically... We're both passed out. When you hit the surface, you will be passed out. And you will probably need to make a death save. Because he's and going to be is? still on... Yeah, he's still making death saves. I'm, I'm a dead weight. Yeah. Literally. But we're on top of the water, though. Like, You're everybody getting there. can see us You're now. not there yet. So it, you were further oh, than 60 me. feet underwater. So that's okay. what I'm saying. You're going to hit the surface because the ring will carry you up again, but you um, you will be making death saves. But not on this round. Is there Correct. anything else you want me to do on no, this No, not this round. You did it. I've done enough. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, Ezra. Wow, we're All way right, back I'm... to you again really fast. I'm going to I'm going to pop up to the top of the boat. When people are dying really fast, then um, as, I'm just as thinking, comes yeah, out. I'm just I'm just exploring, <laughs> trying to you know do my Let's own thing. Quickly. All right, so you are 
um, back on this map. But come on over to the Tower of Storms. Yep. You can switch back over there. All right. Can you? Yeah, I just I just clicked on it. Now it's just taking some oh, time. Oh, okay. It's loading. Got it. Okay. All right. So you're back at the top of the stairs. Here. Like, hey guys, what I miss? There's nobody there. <laughs> if you're no alone. There. <laughs> you're all alone. All right. Um, I I probably don't have any more movement left. Correct. Correct. Yeah, to go uh, past. I the... mean, I. Oh, I wait. I could dash. I forgot one thing. I no, you probably spent your dash running up the stairs, and here's why. Because as you got to the next level down, uh -huh. right? So the one above, you went up one floor where all the yeah. bones. So here's what you see: all of the bones are assembling. Cool. And the minotaurs are animating. And you just hear, boom, 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 right? Uh, they start to beat the drums and rowers are beginning to gather their bones together and form on all of those whalebone seats that are on okay. that course. You can just keep, you book it all the way, rest the rest of the way back up. You are at the top of the stairs and that okay. will be, that'll be your, your turn. Okay. All right, can I ask one more death save? I'll roll it for you. My turn. Yeah, hmm. I just made a death save for you. It is oh. it is not well with you. Okay, how am I doing? You are dying. Okay, Anaya starts yeah. swimming up toward the top. Ozis. Yes. Um you don't see anybody yet. They're not at the top yet. No. Yeah. Well, I'm ready. I'm waiting. Okay. All right, Zith. You want me to roll your death save for you? I'll roll it. But I'm still going up, right? You were rolling a death save, you had but we're still headed towards up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, um... Do I see the light? Yeah, Ozus? No, you're unconscious now. Mm -hmm. Ozus. Yes. Bursting up out of the water so fast that they actually, like, are like two freaking dolphins. They just come up out of the water and then splat on top. And then Canaeus begins to slide off of Zith and back into the water again. They are oh. both they are both unconscious and dying. How far how far uh, how far does is uh Canaeus? Uh they are okay, I'm gonna just gonna relatively move you back. Don't move it back to my relatives. Oh, hold on. Yeah, by by your relatives. That's exactly right. Okay. So there they are. So Zith has the water walk on him already, correct? Yes. So he'll be floating. Yeah. Do you have so like a healing I'll... word or something like that you can Well yeah, first I need to get Kineas boy buoyant. So I'll hit him with water walk because I had it on. Okay. Am I All consuming right. what? Do yes. you have a can trip you can use now? Hang on. Uh casting a spell. Wait, I'll ask this question. Oh, too late. What? You were holding your action for when we came up, right? Right. I'm, you were holding your action for when we came up, correct? Yeah, correct. But he was he was holding for a water walk, so I'll let him cast it. Mm -hmm. so, that, so that means that, that action is part of his last turn, not this current one. Right. No, and we're not to him yet, so... Right. I, I was just trying to find out if he wanted to cast a healing word to bring you both conscious, or well, my the only thing I have that's a you had water water. Was, yes, but my healing word is would be First during time. my move. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Zith, you've uh, 
failed your save, so you're fine. You're fine. Um, okay. Ezra. Okay, so I would probably point. get off the boat and head towards the water, considering no one's on the boat. Um... Uh, I'll do so yeah, I guess I would, I would climb down uh, from the boat and then head towards the water. Since I never got rid of water walk, so I would kind of just head in that direction. Oh, I don't yeah, know how far I'm... I could go. Um, yeah, since it still won't let me move. Oh, we'll let you move on this map? That's so weird. No, okay. I don't. I don't understand why. It yeah, I don't know either. So that's ten feet to the edge of the boat. What are you going to do from okay. there? Okay, climb down. Okay, so that's uh, twenty feet. Now, what are you going to do? Uh, ten feet closer to the water, and then um, uh, let's see. I mean, I guess I just I would. I guess just dash forward and just move as close as I can to everyone else on the water. Yeah, because I'm going to need your healing. Yeah, and exactly. you have 30 yep. feet, right? Yeah, so, so it would just 30. be an additional. Yeah, so Five, it would just be another 30 10, feet forward. 15, 20, 25, 30. So there's yep. your dash. Yep, there we go. Um, 5, 10, 15, let me 20, see. 25, Something. 30. You are, they are just out of range of a 30 foot spell. Are they both dead? Yep. Oh. They're 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 making death saves. So no, if they're... I were to if I were to use healing word on them, what would that do? That if you could reach them, that would do it. It's it's a sixty it's a sixty foot um range. That seems like a hero spell at this point. It seems like a what? A hero spell. That would save the day. Then let's do that. Because they're both not going to sink now. They're laying on top of the water, but they're not breathing. It, they're it, drowning. It the healing. Their hearts, their organs are starting to fail. Their hearts stopped. They're dying. So I am Do going they smell? to. That cast... would be. They haven't started to smell yet. You have time. You must. Oh, target so at least if they one die, we can burn them for rolling. hours. You could... not rolling. Why is the, this doing that? There really isn't any time for you to loot the bodies first. So. I can burn them right on the ocean. You're like, here. sorry, you lost it at the bottom of the ocean. Welcome back. Why is oh, this not like... I hate to say it, but water walk is willing creature. It says I must target at least one token before rolling the attack every time okay. I click on healing word. And you can't target those guys because you can't see them? I'm six. I mean, it, it's. I should be able to see them because can you see them about... now? Well, let's see. All right. They're right there, next to you. I just moved yeah. you forward in case you couldn't see them before. No, I, I could see them. Oh, okay. So there you go. Now you're targeting. Yeah. Okay. And so is Ozus. He's doing some nonsense as well. Oh no, that's you. Go ahead. Yep. No, now it just you... keep saying you must target at least one token. Um, would you have to target yourself too? It's healing let's, word, right? Yes, let's give it a try. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> on my screen. It shows that they are both targeted, and now I'm currently targeted. Oh, maybe because it thinks you should only target one of them. Maybe that's it's just the automation is messed up. Okay, so let's just um, target one. Okay. And do your healing word and see if that works. Yeah, now it's working. Yeah. Uh, because it, you're not doing mass healing word, you're just doing healing word, right? Um. Yeah. That's right. Sorry, it's it's um, it's just a creature, not both creatures. Right. So, yeah, healing word is only on. one. 
That's okay. So, I have healing word. Which one are you picking? Are you I am going to pick um, mass healing word. Yeah. That way it gets both. Can you of do them. that as a bonus action? Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay. Well, then um, there you go. But I would now need you... to undo healing word. You're you're fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. Here's what yeah. happens. Okay. Uh, they both spew like water from a blowhole right out of their mouth. Oh, that's disgusting. Like, <gasps> And I'm they both so get big breaths in, and they um, come to. And you have however much healing is done to them. We can take care of that whenever. Yeah. Um, One so, D4 uh, plus three. Okay. So you'll get seven, Kanaeus. A D4 plus three, so that's seven. Seven? Okay. Yeah. And then... <gasps> So roll, roll a d4. Uh, so what's what's interesting is that Zith for your, oh, it's a d6. Uh, for your death save, I rolled a one. <laughs> All right, you get max healing. You get seven. As so well. wait, what? Is, so what does that mean? Like, am I actually dead? You, because you fail. No, oh, wow. for your first. Okay. For your first death save, you you failed two saves. And oh my God, if you roll a one left. on a death save, yeah, you had one left. Yeah. So if he didn't actually heal yeah. you, you could have died. Kanaeus actually had made his first death save and failed his second death save. So he had potentially two more death saves to, to make it through. But um, you were the one on death's door being the hero diving down like that. And then Kanea comes up out of the water and lands on Kanaeus's chest and then hits him with a book. <laughs> it would be awesome if she end. barfed right into his mouth. Right. Um, exactly. So I guess be before my turn is over, would I be able yes. to just tell everyone like what I saw one in the basement of the boat? Or is everyone a little too... too uh... Yeah, you will have time to do that. There's not a, okay, a rush. So when okay. we when we pick this up again next week, you can decide what you're going to do about this boat. Okay. Um, and uh, what, decide... what time is it now, Jim? Like, how long have we been out here? That seemed like that was two sessions. <laughs> oh my god, that was that was terrible. Uh, it was a long fight of seventeen rounds. So what's six times seventeen? A minute and a half. No, really? <laughs> oh my god. D and D time it? is so weird. That's it was the last D &D two time. sessions. Both the last two sessions <laughs> were fighting this thing. Oh my god. That's amazing. Yeah, a hundred and two seconds. So almost two yeah, two minutes. Talk. How did how do you feel we did fighting the storm the storm swarm? <laughs> How do I seem like you we had to performance? <laughs> we had to suck. Yeah. There's no fight in D and D the last seventeen rounds. No, we clearly no, like no, did not optimize it. What do you guys think? I. What do you think? I mean, we were kind of just like all over the place. It's not like There's, if we were all yeah. stationary and we were all like attacking one yeah. thing, it would have been an issue. But we were kind of all. Like, oh, we'll get zombies, and then we'll get the guys on the boat, and then we'll get this person. Right. Let me Uno reverse this to you, Kanaeus, and the rest of you. Mm -hmm. Was that an exciting fight? Was it fun and interesting? Super oh, fun. Yeah. It was and, interesting. I thought it was going to get slobbered. Yeah, so yeah. it was suspenseful. It was fun and interesting. That's a win in my book. So that, that was a great combat. Yeah. I mean, guys. if I from that lens, I, it was great. I would have done it, it in Gaelic. But... I, my only main concern for Fairlight was that whatever she was doing was going to affect everybody else. And was like, oh, well, you're all dead now. She well, certainly I... was aimed at that way. She wanted to be attacking everyone with that high damage shield. Well, we still have to find I out what's going on with this boat. Yeah, the well, boat's the whole situation. Good. Yep. By the next uh, the next scene, you've got uh, you've got a variety of things to be worried about. Yeah, so and when guys... Ezra would tell me that the druid was 
or the bard was singing these songs, I would start free, freaking out and like finishing the stanza for him. Like, are you kidding me? What? And then he mentioned the word Emberloft, <laughs> right? He he mentions the name Emberloft. Yeah. You know yeah. that name, Zip. Alive. Yeah. I saw that man die yeah. get turned to a zombie. Who, Emberloft? No, told that the bard. The yeah, bard. he seemed oh, he that. seemed pretty alive to me. Not not really in his best best space, but he was singing a tune. I saw the man get turned into a zombie. How was he back? When when was I here for that? Back at the I don't. I think maybe no, you weren't here for that one, but Oz this was. Oz, Oz remember it was before Na- before I got Naya, we, we were at the bar. And we got oh, yeah. out these zombies. Yeah. That's that was in Fandolin. Right? Uh, no, it was No, that was, was at the uh, uh, Yeah, the what's the the mid crossroads in the or Wayside Inn or whatever? Wayside Inn, yeah. Where were where's that in? And they were all yeah, we the, felt... some of them were attached to the the doors and stuff. Am I thinking I that fight? Make it turn to a zombie. You don't come back from that. Right. Well, Ralzik got turned into a zombie. And is he still here with us? No, we killed him. Remember? I know. Yeah. You don't come back from being a zombie. It's like one of the rules of being a zombie. You're, well, no, not unless you read uh, I Am Legend, but that's a whole different. <laughs> no, right. Hey guys, I gotta run. Uh, good, legendary, well, good game tonight. Wow. You guys did great. Hot? You have to run at night. If you guys, that was fun, uh, guys. Thanks. Yeah. So yep. Thanks, feel free Jim. to yeah, feel free to uh, participate in the World Anvil if yeah. you like, or on Discord, and I'll yeah. catch you guys next week as we ramp up for the what you're gonna do about the dreadnought. The oh, and the skeleton. Night dreadnought. And the skeleton. Yeah. This is not. This is far from over. All right. All right, see you guys later. Take care. All right. Bye-bye, guys.